Episode 141, dude. Why wow. not Why not just get into it? God damn. I, I literally feel guilty every time that we talk and we're not just casting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, like, it's like a leak in an oil pipeline, I should have saved the, the, that news story for now. Yeah. Not that one. Yeah. The uh, trip to the Grove, marred again by a horrific death. Hold on now. Every time I go to Williams Grove, dude, someone gets fucking... So you're at the racetrack. Ice, dude. You're yeah. at the racetrack. We, we went down the track, but it's so fucking fun. I it's bet. so fun, so it, this, unless you get hit by a fucking car. So this is uh, what's it called? Like not go kart racing, it's but sprint it's cars. Sprint kart, yeah. Sprint kart racing. They fly, dude. It is fucking insane. You you can't understand it until you're there. That's like what people say about NASCAR. Oh, I'm sure NASCAR's. People are like, ridiculous. dude, if you went to a NASCAR event, you'd become a NASCAR fan. Yeah. Which is I why bet, I, mean, I don't go because I don't want to become it. It's not even like yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. be a NASCAR fan. I just don't need like that itch in my life. Well, I don't like, understand. People are like, what are you checking? I'm like. Fucking rankings. See how Kendrick's doing. <laughs> See how Kendrick's doing. Checking it on that 63 car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is like, d- dude. And first off, they're out of control the whole fucking time. They're on the dirt. Like every turn they make, they're swerving and then they hit the straightaway and go. They go so fucking fast. I'm they're trying just to think what kind of you. dude does it take to be like a Because you got to work your way up through the dirt tracks. You don't just get to yeah, hop yeah, in yeah. a NASCAR. Williams Grove is like a serious raceway too. Like yeah, those man. guys are like good. I knew I used to uh one of my roommates like was a dirt track driver. He I don't think he ever took it down to Williams Grove. That's for the big boys. He was probably like on another yeah, track. But it's they're gonna have to do something about that fucking track. Well I mean again, a guy died last year and then while we're there, a guy got fucking a guy got hit by a car. And this was not this is a pedestrian? This was I think he was a pit crew guy. Oh. Or he was like something. He was down on the track. A car flipped over the fence and hit him. <laughs> How the driver of the flip car was fine? Probably, yeah. Relatively fine, I guess. Yeah, you're in those. They all crash. They crash the whole time. Like they, it's rare that they get around like three laps. It's usually like one or two or three laps. Then someone crashes. Then everybody goes slow for like two laps. They get the car off the track and then start flying again. Do they finish the race once somebody dies? Or they no, like, everyone died, They had to. They called it. What? That's got to yeah. suck. Also, 61 was the winner. Was he really? <laughs> he, was in, he was in first when the guy got killed. So that's how so they just won. race until someone dies, and then they yeah, go Yeah, they home. race until someone dies, and they're like, all right, whoever was winning when that guy got hit, you win. <laughs> the race never ends. The, uh, it was fucking, it was nuts, man. Oh, was what, nuts. The, what was, yeah. was the crowd like, oh. The well, it's so hit? loud. It's yeah. so loud, you couldn't hear it, because we were on the infield uh, on the other side. I mean, the, the whole thing's like less. It's like the size of a football. How field. much does the tickets cost? Fifteen bucks. I mean, bring your beer what, in. If you think about what they're selling, dude, <laughs> possibility of a Faces of Death video live in person. It's, if you go every wild. year, you're going to catch somebody I bite mean, the dust. I'm two for two. I, that's insane. Uh, thankfully, I wasn't there when. For what thirty the bucks? You've seen guy. two people die for thirty bucks? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not bad. I didn't see this guy die though. If I did, that would be pretty fucked up. Because apparently, you see him get hit. Apparently he was standing on the bed of a truck. Oh. And he was a 67-year-old man. So he went out on his shield. Like he went out dying exactly how he would have wanted he to. He went straight to Valhalla, dude. He, that's exactly what I said when it happened. See, I was like <laughs> that man was just sent to Valhalla. Dude. I said that in the parking lot. We went back on the on the grass and started chugging some beers for him. You had to. RIP. Damn, he bit it. He squirted that shit and he did the Mad Max squirt in his mouth, dude, and stepped up. It was like, "Bop." Just Apparently, he was, uh, people I know knew him. Yeah. And they were like, he was such a fucking nice dude. Really? He was 67. And, uh, you I know, mean, dude, at 67. A car flipped out of a racetrack and crushed him. That's one way to die, <laughs> I mean, that's, dude. That's, that's Imagine, a good way to go. He's getting immortalized at the track. He's going to have a memorial now. What would you rather do? Just like slowly shit yourself and turn like 73? Or just have that one split second of like, whoop. <laughs> I just, dude, I was on the Here plane. Here it comes. I was thinking about crashing the whole time I was on a plane. Uh, every time I'm on a plane. I was on a small I I... plane, too. So we were hitting yeah. like lots of hard turbulence. And I was like, dude, that feeling of like... So even when the plane dips a little from turbulence, when you fall, it's just that feeling the whole time, yeah. and then you die. It's just like your stomach's dropping. You're like... Oh, uh, oh, oh, plane, plane crash must be... Because you have a lot of time to think about it. Yeah, man. You got a lot of time to be like, ooh. Well, especially when the noise kicks in. Once it's you know so you're going loud. down, it goes... 
It's like, was, it's just turbulence, just turbulence. Once you hear it, you're like, oh, dude, we're definitely no, dying. No. All of us are dying right just now. Just women screaming and shit. People, oh. that's what I think would bother them. I mean, obviously, you know, impending death wouldn't be great. For sure. But, like, the paranoia or the hysteria on the plane. Just the pandemonium yeah. would just be fucking horrendous. Especially like I'd be my girlfriend would be clinging to me, dying in like a panic like that. Yeah, fuck w- that. And with your girlfriend, where like she's yeah, clinging she's onto you, screaming incoherent. And you're shit. just like and you're just like shut up, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Just one second, just yeah, like, shut up. We're going to die. That you want to seriously spend your last thirty seconds like oh, this? Oh man, I don't. I'd know. be fucking freaking out. Yeah, of course. We had some hard turb, and I was just like. We go out, we go out. Dude. Yeah, I try to think started that thinking way. about the podcast. I'm like, if I died in a plane on the way here, it'd probably be pretty good for the podcast. I was like, <laughs> it'd be all right. Uh, no, I think the cast would suffer. I mean, we get a nice little pop. We get it in like the daily times. I got about eight, like the, I got about eight flights this August, dude. You'll be you really? there's a decent chance I could big bopper <laughs> out and go down. The cast will live forever, though. I mean, if one of us bites it in a fucking airplane accident. Ah, it'd be tight if the airplane. I start. I was reading uh, the Atlantic while I was flying, and there was an article I wanted to read about like the disappearance of the Malaysian airliner. Yeah, I, I got like three words in. Her. I'm like, I'm not fucking reading this shit right now. I just flipped <laughs> yeah, over yeah, to like yeah, a thing yeah. about sexual harassment. I'm like, I'm not reading this. Yeah, I was watching a movie, uh, an in-flight movie. I forget which one it was, but mm-hmm. there was a plane crash in it, and like, so it's on my screen, oh. the, and I'm like looking around, like people probably think I'm a fucking asshole for this. <laughs> Just sitting on a flight, watching plane, making everyone in my row watch a plane crash. Dude, anyway, dude, think about that. A guy fucking died while I was out there boozing, dude. Yeah, how did everyone just shuffle out there? Like, yeah, everyone left. silently. People were like crying and shit. Yeah, I mean, a guy died. It was. I, I hear you. And a whole in front of a whole fucking bleacher of people. Guy got fucking squashed by a car. I mean, what's what's funny too? Because I uh. I was just that book I read, all all things shining or all the shining things. I think the dude who told me to check it out was Big Dan, dude, from I think since not Susanna, Louisville. Okay, he uh, I'd give him a shout out. But they were talking about how that's like our last venue left for people to find meaning and like watching like sports or things. We're watching someone just like transcend, like oh my god, these guys are flying. Everyone is like collectively like not thinking. They're just like ah, and then the, yeah. the guy dies. It's like the priest had a heart attack during church, basically. <laughs> I, I, I told you that. Uh, at my uncle's, so my dad's sister yeah. married this guy. So he's my uncle, but I don't mm-hmm. know his his parents. We are at his parents' funeral, one of them. Yeah. And the priest was doing the fucking incense thing, the bell. Or like, you know that thing that sways? Yeah, the... The, uh, the smoke that yeah, comes smoke. out of the incense. Yeah. And he fucking mid-sway, like, passed out. Shit flew everywhere and he fainted on the thing. Oh. And my uncle was standing next to me. He was just like, Jesus Christ. And I was like, yes. <laughs> that guy's the funny. He, that, I didn't know he was funny. I didn't know my uncle was funny until that moment. The priest passed out and he just goes, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, I was in the absolute pinnacle of religiousness yesterday. Oh, fuck. Shane, it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I was in Alabama. We flew down to Alabama. It was one night. We got up early in the morning, flew you down there. To, you were a black church in Alabama? Wasn't even a black church, bro. Wasn't a black church. No, this was a. So it was my babe's co- younger cousin, and he so black dude married a white chick. Married a honky in Alabama. Married, honk, well, Watch she's out from, now. She's from Tejas. That's, so, they're still not big fans. I don't think Tejas honky dude. Yeah, but they were from like a like the church they were in. So all the groom. So you've seen a wedding. It's like you know bridegroom, priest or whoever saying yeah. the vows, and then there's like all the bridesmaids and groomsmen. Everyone's kind of like just sitting there all silently. There was a dude playing like religious, like folk, like cool, like new. You're like new, oh, like God. new Christian Christians rock. are so fucking gay, dude. It was just like it's so you gay. are the way, and and like the bride the whole time, like there's they were breaking a song, and the whole groom party were just like sway and dance and like hold their hands up and praise, dude. It was, and the minister the whole time was like, dude. It was. We walked in like five minutes late. And I, wa- I looked at Brittany, I was like, what the, she's like, shut up, shut up. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? She's like, shut up. So it was like a mega church? It was like a small, it was like a small, ver- it would have been like a small version of a mega church. Yeah. It was yeah. like, I was hanging around. It was mega church vibes for sure. Oh my God. And it was like, dude, I get in there and I'm like, what the, and like some of her family's like pretty religious too. Yeah. So I'm like trying to talk shop. After the ceremony, I'm like, yo, you fucking see that? And the one guy, the one guy was in the wedding. I'm like, oh fuck, I forgot you're all about that shit too. <laughs> my bad. Dude, I've been to, I've been to weddings like that. Uh, my ex went to Messiah College okay. in Mechanicsburg, which is like a super Christian. Mm-hmm. And 
So whenever her friends got married, they got married in those types of like weird Christian churches where they like sing. Like one of the groomsmen was like, he honored them by singing a song. One of the groomsmen. So like Whoa. the best man was like, I have a song to sing. And he said, he's like, how awesome is our God? <laughs> like it was shit like that. Like how, dude, guys, how cool is our God? That's That was the, the whole the ceremony uh, was fast too, dude. They were, these are youngins still. So they're in this like, and I'm the whole time I'm watching. I'm like, I guess this is what you are supposed to do. You're supposed to like totally believe in God, get married when you're 22. No, and I'm watching this just like, dude, this is fucking crazy. Because the like, dude's like a little older, saying like the vows, or the the guy like leading the whole thing, and he was uh the chapel, whatever that was called, deacon, and he's just like, yeah, like I know you love God so much. And so does your wife, and you guys just love God. And then they like break out into a song like "God is the best ever." Oh. And dude, this one guy was playing the guitar, and they'd all like the whole bridal party would be like pointing to the sky and like, "Yes, you are God." And I was oh watching this like, God, "What?" Dude. Yeah, they, I'll give the, you got to give the Catholics some credit. Yeah, they're just like, "All right, shut the fuck up. We're gonna <laughs> say weird shit, but no one believes it. Just <laughs> shut up. Just everyone be quiet and sad. <laughs> we know this is weird. Let's just get it just over be with. Be fucking awkward and quiet for an hour, <laughs> and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. But it was it, so it was so there was that dynamic going on. Super dudes like dudes with like tucked in button downs and into like khakis, like hopping up and down and being like, guys, how cool is God, dude? That sucks. It was so weird, and the fuck whole time them. I had just read uh Dude, the book I read, it was, no, no, the, yeah, the book talks about Moby Dick and how, like, the idea behind Moby Dick was, like, they think Melville was getting at this thing where, like, the best you can do is just whatever kind of religion thing you're around, just participate in it and just, like, live on the surface of it. Be like, whatever, this shit's weird. If you try to think about all of it too much, it blurs out into this white that's just, like, totally unidentifiable. So he was, like, you know, you should, so I'm, like, trying. I'm, like, I think I could get into this. And I'm, like, watching it. I'm, like, Dude, this is just too fucking weird, yeah. man. I can't. I, I wanted to so badly. But, dude, it also, like... So I'm watching the whole time, like, seeing, like, you know, little, like, I'm just waiting for their faces to show me some sign of, like, them just thinking something, like, fucked up or something. I, I don't know. So, you know, but we got into the wedding. Then there was a black-white dynamic. So there's, like, super Christian dynamic. And then there's, like, a, dude, I don't know. Have you ever seen a bunch of black people watch white people do the chicken dance? That was the funniest thing. Was the I've, wedding fun? Was the party fun? Or, like, was that still kind weird? Of, had, you can't wash that off after that mass. Well, the, that the, stink the is weird, still on. So the weird part was the, the super mega Christianity, like, uh, was on, like, it was it was possessed and repped by a lot of the white people and some of the black people. And then there were some of the black people and some of the, well, I don't know. I don't know if many of the white people who were there who were like, that wasn't weird as fuck. I think I was the only white person there who were like, what the fuck was that? And then I was at a table with... A decent amount of black people who were like, dude, that was so fucking weird. So oh, they, so it was the the black people from Chicago? Yeah. Yeah, it was, right. it was like my girlfriend's cousins. So they were probably like, what the fuck? Yeah, but some of them even are like real into that shit. Because their one cousin I started talking to about it, and Brittany kind of looked at me like, dude, shit, chill. Because he was like, he's all about that shit, dude. And I was like, oh, my bad. That's, dude, I, I almost the exact same thing. I was really? in a hotel at the fucking reception at a table of people that I didn't know. Just sitting there like, huh? What the fuck? And they were all like, that was cool. Like shit, like, like I would say something, and they'd be like, whoa, that's inappropriate. Yeah, they shut me <laughs> down pretty I got shut down yeah. pretty... Anytime I was like... If I swore or some shit like that, they were like, Well, that was the whoa. weird thing I saw. They were like fully... So they did the chicken dance, which was the funniest fucking thing in the world. I was at a, I was sitting at a table with black people watching, the white people watching white people do a chicken dance, and they were sincerely going like... What is that, Matt? What are they doing? And like people were like getting up and leaving. They were like so offended. They were upset by the chicken dance. They were upset by the chicken dance. They're like, Matt, what is this? And it was because well, it's weird. I've been to like a white black wedding before, and it, dude, I it's like through no fault of anyone's. I don't think it devolves into a dance off every single time. It everyone nobody dances. Everyone gets in a circle, and they just like will just like watch people dance, and it gets into this like hypercharged environment of like. Everyone's like, it's like competitive at some point. It's so, dude, it's the weirdest fucking thing. It, it, it was, dude, I was just watching it. And of course, like, How I'm How high like, were you? So here's the other thing. Yeah, <laughs> so here's yeah, the yeah. other layer on top of everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm the, I'm definitely the highest person there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, so I'm like, I'm going to, cause I'm, I'm like, I'm going to be called out to the dance floor with Brittany. I'm like, this sucks. I'm like, so I'm like chugging red wine. Dude, I'm drinking red I'm trying to break the mental barrier of just being like, whatever. I'm not even going to think about this. Which apparently was impossible. So I started yeah. hitting my vape pen. Like I was hitting my vape pen. Like I was trying smoking. To escape? Like I was smoking. I was literally oh. trying to escape, dude. I was trying to smoke like my vape pen. Like it was DMT. I was just like, <laughs> I was outside just ripping this thing. 
finally it all caught up with me. And her grandma was, dude, this lady's like 80 years old. Yeah. She's like, Matt, do you dance? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I love dancing. <laughs> she was just like, do you want to dance with me? And I was like, no. <laughs> no. I was like, no, not right now. No And everyone's like, what the fuck? You're not going to dance with our grandma? I'm like, does she really want to dance? I'm like, give me a minute, man. Come on. And, every, and people were like breaking my balls. Like, that's fucked up, man. You don't tell our grandma you're not going to dance with her. And I'm like, all right. So then finally, like hours go by. And uh, her one aunt pick got me up and we started dancing. Of course, dude, and, and I knew this was going to happen. I had to dance for like a table of people who were just watching me laughing. And I'm like, this fucking sucks. Oh. And then I went and got, I'm like, fuck this. I went and got her grandma. Did you grind with them? Well, the problem was, they I, twerk? the grandma needed a cane. So I'm holding her hands, but she kept falling back. So I'm like, here. And I, I like took her back. Ooh. But I think I was, I was like so fucking drunk and stunned by this point. I think I was thrashing her around a little you th- bit. You too. shook her around. I think I shook her up a little too much. Dude. People were like, whoa, whoa, come on. No, no, no. That's enough. <laughs> Yeah, man, and then like I you got it, drunk. I wasn't even that drunk. That it, that wine was doing nothing to me, dude. <sighs> totally, dude. The blood, the boc did nothing to me. I fucking I got hammered after that dude got crushed. I got I comm- I I honored his life. By Only way you knew how. I chipped my tooth on a beer. <laughs> did you? Yeah, you can't really see it front left. That's all you can do, dude. Yeah, I raised a glass too quick and <laughs> chipped my tooth. Oh, yeah, it was a fun night. But so you jarred this lady, you shook her around, shook her around. You know, it's it's a weird thing. I was like getting yelled at by Brittany for being like, "You're being too rough," and I'm like, "I'm holding her up. She's gonna fall over." But I'm yeah. like, she's looking at my face like, "How high are you?" And I'm like, "I'm not even high. What are you talking about?" <laughs> I literally couldn't move my face. <laughs> like I couldn't make a facial expression other than just like being awestruck, just being like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, man." <laughs> so then, uh, but yeah, then I just watched the whole time. It was just this like. Like, uh, her cousin was DJing. Her cousin did a really good job. Was playing all these really good songs. But they had a preordained list that she had to play certain songs. So, yeah. like, dude, it was... it was. It, I was watching this being like, damn, dude, this is very, like, uh, like a sociological study. It's like, black people start dancing. Like, yeah, oh, we're having a good time. And, like, white people come out in a pack. And, like, they at one point, they did an organized, like, practice dance number together. Which I'm like, that's kind what, of... What, the groomsmen? Yeah, oh, but I like all that. of them, they didn't organize the all. Like, dude, it was like fourteen people. Yeah, they all they all go to that. It's like almost like a cult. They're all in this church, all, so they had time to like put together a four minute dance number. <laughs> and then it's like you're watching like white dudes who I I I can only maybe I'm projecting this on them, but I think or maybe a little on edge about like dancing in front of black people, which I'm not, I'm slightly nervous, dude. I mean, you know, obviously I'm over it now. I fucking you know it was fun. But I feel like you're because you are getting judged. I'm at the table watching them watch white people dance, and I'm like laughing. It's like it's hilarious to watch. Yeah. But then I'm like, fuck. Now I have to go out there, and I, I don't you know don't when. Have to go. I don't, I don't know, know why when. You keep dancing. I don't Stop know when dancing. white people lost the ability. This bothers me. I'm, I have a very Apollonian temperament, dude. I, I'm like a big world uh, world joiner. I can't help it, dude. It's just yeah. how I am. So I'm like in my head. I'm like, dude. The whole time I'm watching, I'm like, I'm so stoned, like. What happened to white people, dude? Why can't we dance? And then so I was, was just saying when we were watching that brony thing, I was like, well, how, why do people dance this? Way? What happened, dude? How do people dance? This I, way? I think because I was at one point I was watching. Well, white people dance in fifteen second bursts. You like dance for two seconds and you go like, ha ah, ha. You like look at your friend in the eye like ha ah, ha, and you laugh and yeah. then you jump back into it. But it was something very Viking like a way like white people would descend on the dance floor and start like fucking moving in these really short, like short, hard, like stiff, powerful movements that I was like. I'm watching, like, dude, this is kind of like weird and then like kind of intimidating. Berserkers, they were berserkers, dude. They're going berserk. For and then you and then you'd watch, like, and then the black dudes would go out, and you know, the black lady, whatever. They'd all go out and start dancing. It was like, like one, her one cousin went out and danced. Like they kept doing that circle shit where they like circle them, do like the soul train line. I'm like, this is crazy. But he like fucking killed it for like a straight minute and a half. And you could tell that killed the morale on the dance floor. Everyone kind of <laughs> stopped. Everyone kind of stopped. It was just like, then they hit the chicken dance, dude, and it was over. That's the state of it, Texas came and repped the chicken dance. The chicken and I, dance. I, I, just, I was getting elbows from 360 degrees. Like, Matt, what the hell? Matt, what is that? Matt, what are your people doing? I'm they were like, doing the chicken dance. Pretty, pretty much. They were fucking elbowing you. <laughs> That's how it starts. Dude, they were like, the people were genuinely like upset watching white people do the chicken dance, being like, what the that fuck? That is an off-putting scene. <laughs> I would have been upset as well. And they were if I saw it. someone do the chicken dance, I'd be like, all right, we, these can't be our friends. I if if I if if any of you are listening to this and do a fucking organized dance at your wedding, well, no, not the, just the chicken dance. Cupid I'm talking shuffle. About, they kill the Cupid shuffle. Fuck that too. But if you do, a I fucking, got out of the Cupid shuffle. I was like, if, no. if your groomsmen do a dance, or I mean, bridesmaids, I'll forgive because women have dog brains. Sure. But men, if you go do that fucking dance as a group, you are gay. Your friends are gay. Banish to hell, you're saying? You need to stop watching The League on FX or whatever you guys all jerk off to <laughs> and get a life. If you do a synchronized dance, you should. You need well, that's to stop. the other thing. Viral 
clips or like kind yeah. of like you want to kind of go viral like the mother daughter dance what no. sucks about doing a viral dance is you end up having the fucking harlem shake on your fucking home video of your wedding no you do like, you do a viral craze that was popular for 30 days yeah just when you got married well it's not, that sucks we, it used, that's true it's really weird but it used to be like you'd watch tv and you're like all right that's what people do at weddings i'm gonna do that now you watch weddings on the internet and you're like oh we have to have like a yeah, surprise. the daughter like or the the father daughter dance is like they start out slow dancing and dude. then they break into it the dj's like you know start they spinning ob- the record they obviously did that dude Ugh. oh yeah. they did do that well they did they did during the mother mother's yeah mother son dance they broke into like a little dance father father daughter was just a slow slow mo just nice and easy meat and potatoes dude nothing not showing off at all yeah but yeah it was dude it was one of the weirder experiences i've had and then dude so i'm walking around being like the, the, the brian groom are young so i'm like bro god is the ultimate pimp because i got real into the mechanics of like the transaction of the bride while i was there and like watching all this stuff and i was like imagine back then like you want to fuck because they i'm pretty sure they're both virgins so nice. it's like yeah which was, dude i'm telling you they were up there and they were like you could see that they wanted to fuck so bad which is another awkward thing that's they were, nice they were like I mean, it was, and it was also that's kind as of God like, in, that's as God intended it, Matthew. Well, Don't, dude, come on, man. I th- that's an ultimate pimp game. It's like you want to fuck, you got to pay. So you have to pay the church as a human being to fuck, or else you die and go to hell. That's pimping, dude. Yeah. And if you if you get to be that's like the pimping. ambassador of that, and being like, uh, okay, because all that was was a trans. Like, dude, you would get a daughter, and you'd be like, as soon as you got a daughter, like, all right, if, as long as she's not a slut, I'll make, like, 500 bucks off her Yeah. at some point. I just have to completely make sure she doesn't be a slut. And then some dude's going to come out who wants to come so bad, dude, <laughs> so bad. And yeah. then you're going to be like, you like my daughter? 500 yeah. bucks. And then the church gets a cut, and it's like, dude, that, that's, like, how empires were built. Yeah. Every person in the world wanted to come, and if you, did, if you come, you lose, and you're in hell, and, like, everyone hates you. <laughs> I was, and again, I'm at the wedding, and then Brittany's like, dance with me. And I'm like, Brittany, I, you have to understand. I just can't dance right now. I'm too fucking, I'm too deep in the matrix right now. You couldn't dance with her? I mean, we did a little bit. I, dude, I danced with her grandma more than I danced with her. Really? Yeah, I danced with her grandma. And her I, I got, she let me off the hook, dude. I sat there for the most part and just chilled at the table. There's a lot of dudes who just sit there and they, they put their foot down and they don't dance. Yeah, that's what I do. I know. And then I make runs to the free bar. Yep. Get fogged up and hit the dance floor no dance floor never M- might walk through give everybody a fucking wave be like yeah i'm here <laughs> and then i sit back down or stand I find i usually find the dads usually find the cool dads yeah talk to them that's another thing i'm bad at talk like, shit on all the other families that's pretty tight yeah well then like, i hate to do that because i'm like you're, i was sitting there yesterday like she's talking to a bunch of girls and i stick a dude and i'm like is this like a, a are we making an agreement to like talk to each other now all night so neither of us feel awkward like Oh, yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, but, like, I start thinking about Don't it. Don't read into it. Yeah, I'm like, this is weird. I'm like, but... But it was... I mean, it was fun. I, I did have fun. The food was good. You know, I I do... I like to what dance. What was the food like? Barbecue, bro. So good. It was, was buffet-style barbecue. <sighs> pork and chicken, green beans, barbecue sauce, mashed taters, dude. Woo! Oh, my God. a big old plate. I would have put a fucking hurting on that. And I buff. came home and ordered people pizza, dude. So I ordered, I ordered like... people pizza? I ordered a couple people pizza. I ordered, like... We had, like, four people in our room. So, oh, you ordered people pizza. I ordered the people in my room pizza. I so like, you ordered pizza. Yeah, that's how that. Sorry, I ordered. Pizza that's how pizza. people say that. Well, I ordered myself a pizza, and everyone came. So I was like, "Fuck!" And I got some extra pie. You ordered some pizzas. Yeah, I ordered some sauce, dude. You ordered people pizza. I ordered people pizza from it was a uh, mellow fuck. mushroom, dude. Mellow mushroom. What's pizza. mellow mushroom? There's this pizza place down there, dude. It was like uh, obviously in reference to hallucinogenic mushrooms. So like everywhere, there's big statues of like chill ass mushroom people. Like whoa, and you go in, you're like, oh, I have a pizza. Fucking like what you did here with mushrooms everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it yeah. was fuck. That was good too. Was it gluten free pizza? I got a gluten free for myself. They sell gluten free pizza in dude, Alabama. That's what I was saying. I was like, Brittany, I'm basically gonna go into ketosis down here because there is <sighs> nothing, dude. All they had down there was just food for me. I, I ate nonstop. There was like a Puerto Rican sandwich place I ate at. Fantastic. Mm. Alabama surprised me, dude. Really. A lot of tasty. I was like trying to half talk Brittany and go. I was like, we should come back. She's like, what the fuck are we going to come back here for? I'm like, There's a lot of good places for me. To eat. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a good interracial couple in Montgomery, Alabama. That was another thing, dude. We, <laughs> it's a good place for you guys. We went out to fucking lunch. I forgot where we were. Because we flew down and went right down there. We went out to lunch. Dude, we pulled up and an old white lady just literally looked at us and went like, ugh. Visibly. No. Visibly went, 
Ugh. I mean, you guys are you are throwing it in their face a little, <laughs> dude. What do you want us to do? What do you want us well, to come do? on, man. Just don't go to Montgomery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're really fucking spiking the football in the end zone on that one. <laughs> You're like, oh, you guys are blowing up churches or whatever. <laughs> nah, dude, we got to. Fu- this yeah, is my girlfriend. And we fuck, lady. That was so fucking funny, yeah. man. I pulled up and Brittany's like, "Did you see that?" I'm like, ah, "Maybe she's." Uh... I'm like, she definitely looked at you. I was like, "Fuck, here we go." Yeah, food was. We went in. The waitress was really nice, but everyone in there was on eggshells, dude. It was bizarre. I was like, "Damn, dude." I think there are a lot of black people in that town, though. There are, dude. Yeah, there are. So I mean, they're not. But like they keep it. I think they keep it pretty segregated. Kind of, yeah. I mean, but that's you can like... tell that was the other thing too. When I was at the wedding, I was watching. Uh, there was like such an effort to like, I don't know, man, to like kind of try to like de-racialize the situation like i was watching people talk to each other and especially like like i feel like white people want to not be racist it's just like yeah if you try to like engage other people you just come off as really weird as a replacement so it's like like i was watching the guy being like couldn't have been a better family to join in this is just the best and it's like so i'm like i'm just some better families (laughs) yeah there's like couldn't be a better but it's also wait did they separate the tables because the tables had to be mostly black, mostly Dude, so, white. So what they did, here's what they did. Probably now, looked like a checkerboard from now, above. <laughs> now I know why they did this. Yeah. They didn't assign seating. Because Brittany's like, why the fuck wouldn't they assign seating? They should have assigned seating. Well, dude. So, if it, you leave it up to the people, typically it gets segregated. I mean, it obviously did. Yeah. But, well, tech, not me. I was no. fucking. <laughs> Why don't you pat yourself on the back? <laughs> Why don't you pat yourself on the back a little more, man? Dude, it was... Uh, it was it was interesting on so many levels, dude. I was like, dude, the religious level, there's a weird racial level. And then there's, like, everything, like, the normal shit. Like, you know when you're there and there's another family at a wedding? Like, obviously, like, this family fucking sucks. Yeah. You instantly kind of hate them. Like, what a bunch of fucking losers. Why, why did they suck? I'm, it, I'm just saying, whenever I go to a wedding for my family. I know, but in other, this particular time, did you see a family that sucked? No, but there's always a tension. So that was, oh, like. between the, the two families. Yeah, there was, like, that tension became, all, was also. I think our, my family, the Gillises are the family that sucks. Really? Because I don't think we ever, there's never that. It's always just, like, let's see who can get the most fucked up. Yeah, but it's also, you're looking at the other family, like, what a bunch of pussies. I, yeah, but I'm saying, I think we must be the, we're not. I'm so not, that's, my family is the same thing. Yeah. We suck. Like, we're like a... Yeah, you guys are shitty, shitty people, but <laughs> yeah, we're kind of shitty. While you're there, you're just like, whoa. Well, like, while everyone's trying to do, Let's like... get crazy. Everyone's trying to do the speech, we're like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I told you when I did Boo. my cousin's wedding, <laughs> yeah. when I was like, may your love live forever, like Frank's dead tooth. <laughs> <laughs> no one laughed. <laughs> my aunt was like, Jesus. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, but yeah it, was, it was funny watching, like, any of the perceived slights... Kind of took on like I was trying to talk to Brittany about this at the wedding, and she I was just so high like, whoa, Brittany! Like people say it's not, but it is coming together. It's just going to be awkward for a really long time. She's like, shut up, dude! Oh man! I'm like okay, I'll pull the car around, no problem. Was, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go drive. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, I, I'm in a spaceship. Dude, the pizza place was fucking two minutes from our hotel. I got lost and ended up on the highway, and I was like, <laughs> that was horrible. Our whole family's in the hotel. Like, where's Matt at? And I was just like, I'll be right there. But yeah, it was fun. So nice. That was my day. It was just a day and a night. Nice. But dude, I'm telling you, there's something to it. God's fucking pimping. God is pimping. God's pimping. He's been pimping. If you buy into it, that's the most airtight hustle in the world. Yeah. Death, getting pussy. But now people don't believe in it, and it's just like that was weird. Yeah. You are the only one for me. Yeah, there's always that weird, like, real sexual undertone, too, with all, like, the Christian shit where they're like, and tonight you'll become one. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, man. <laughs> like, I saw, oh, the one I went to, the dad, the bride's dad was the fucking pastor. And he was saying shit like that. He, like, he was saying, like, sexual, and he's like, have a lot of kids. Like, be very fruit. She's, behold, your fruitful bride. And I was like, ew, dude. That's your daughter. Stop you, talking about her fruits. Do you think like a super religious dude is like catching a beat and like just thinks about how fruitful his daughter's going to be and then it's like, that's the devil and like stops jerking off? He probably lets the devil finish. You think and he, then he afterwards, he's like, damn it. Damn it, again, again. Ah, <laughs> damn it, I cussed. The devil's in me. <laughs> well, that was funny too. Well, as soon as you get the jizz out, the devil's out of you. For the sure. Devil, jizz it's is what the, the devil. devil is. Yeah, jizz, sure. jizz is the devil. It was funny watching like the Christians like listen to like popular. They were like Travis Scott came on. They were like singing along, knew all the words, and I was just like, "How do you guys? How do you guys fucking put these together?" Yeah, yeah, that was weird. Either I don't think they're thinking that much though. Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there's not a lot of thought going into what the fuck they're doing. 
I know the song. Yeah, it was weird, man. It was like Christian's going into sicko mode. Yeah, it was literally. They, it was, uh, yeah, it was weird, dude. They knew all the words, and it, it was it was like any other wedding I've ever been to. You know, just the, the weird racial undertone, Christian undertone, and then like, dude, I was there for the shit talk sesh afterwards in the back, like after in the telly, dude. Everyone's like, "Do you see this one? This person said this," and, da, 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 and it was just like, it was wild. I don't remember. I I don't ever make it to the shit talk sesh. Really? Yeah. I couldn't get it. I, I'm usually by the end of the end of the reception, I'm out. There was no liquor. That was the thing. It was oh. just beer and wine. So was I'm it like, a cash bar or nah? It was. It was kind of surprises me. Why? Figured it would be cash bar. What, Those you, Christians, they're like, we're not gonna pay for you to imbibe. I, w- I was thinking that, but now they, yeah, they just drank like Miller Lights, BOC, some Blood of Christ. Okay. Yeah, they drank some Lachey's, Blood of Christ, white wine. I, the fact they didn't have any alcohol, I think that was they didn't want any spirits. Yeah, that was definitely like a hard Christian. Movie. Those dudes can't have liquor. Yeah, I think that's they just the devil, dude. Think of like the grown men like sitting outside, being like one guy's hammered, and he's just like, I just don't know if I believe anymore. <laughs> he's like, Come on, brother, <laughs> we all suffer with that. Dude, I told you I went to a wedding one time where the groom went outside and cried for like half the fucking party. Ugh. He went outside, he's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I'd be outside like, what the? What fuck? was he crying about? Getting married? He like, ah, yeah, he just was having. He didn't know if like. He was having, like, second thoughts. He had been nervous the whole time. He didn't want to be the center of attention. So he, like, went outside and cried the entire... I was, like, going... Back then, I was smoking joints pretty religiously. So I was, like, outside smoking joints. I was watching this guy cry. And I was, and he was, like, in recovery. So he couldn't, like, Ooh. drink or anything. And he was, like, I don't know what to do. And I was just watching it. I was watching him outside. Just, like, yeah. How'd you know him? Was it, like... Is my ex wife's ex wife's yeah, 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 friend's yeah. friend some bullshit? Chicks, some Ginzo wedding, dude. When your girls, when you go to your girls' friend's wedding, it's always corny. Oh. Girls' friends suck. Yeah, man. Typically. Yeah. I went to two with my ex, and zero oh for two on those weddings. <laughs> both weird Christian weddings. Both like again at the table, I'd say something, everybody'd be like, "Whoa, man." Yeah, you know, I'd be like, I'd suck that groom's dad's dick. They're like, "Whoa, man." <laughs> like, I thought it was a wedding. You guys can't have fun. No, we're having fun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you do besides go I told to you track? on Friday watch a man oh, die had a nice show down in Baltimore sick fucking show it was really fun where uh, some bar Umar Khan runs a show in Baltimore it was, it was fucking sick man it's tight perfect sold out packed room tight it was fucking fun Fuck and then uh, yeah Friday Kyla and Beezer came down went to the racetrack they saw the dude die yeah 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 went to the racetrack with uh Little Jay Agnew action. What's up, Jay Bird? What's good, boy? Damn. Then we uh, went out, went downtown, went down to Harrisburg, bro. It was party time. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I chipped Shit. my tooth. Things got a little wild. Oh, you didn't chip it at the track? <laughs> no, I chipped it afterwards. Yeah, it was ugly. So now you're hung. Not too, not too pleased. Then me, Beezer, and Kylo went and smoked a blunt on the side of my parents' house. <laughs> sat I love how much weed gets smoked at your parents' yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, And then uh, the next day, my dad was like... I heard you come in at 4.30, and then you ran back down the steps and went out the front door. What the hell are you doing? I was like, I was going outside to smoke weed. What did he say? He was like, well. <laughs> he, just, he didn't know what to say. It was great. I think my dad got stoned recently. Hit him with a straight answer. Hit oh, the that geezers, hit the geezers with an absolute. Dad, he was like, dude. what the hell were you doing out there? I was like, I was smoking a blunt on the side of the house, Phil. Well. <laughs> You're 31. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, baby. It was great. Then I laid in my parents' backyard for a while by Ooh, myself. That like, must have been f- nice. Five a.m. Just laying there, <laughs> looking at the stars. Where's dude. Bees? Where's the bees and Kai? Bees and Kyla went in, and then Beezer walked out and saw me like staring at a tree. It was like, was like what the hell are you doing, dude? I was like, just taking a look at the land, man. Fuck yeah! And he was like, you're just staring at one tree. I was like, shit. <laughs> I had to go inside. <laughs> it was bedtime then, man. Yeah, I think my dad got stoned, man. He, it was just really weird. Was, like, really? I got him on the CBDs, and then uh, yeah. I hooked him up with a little like little step up tincture, and he just I got text he texted me about Saturday Night Live, about like oh the old, then you texted me about no Saturday no, no this Live. was before that this was oh, this, the McCuskers he, were texting Saturday Night Live no this was, I did text <laughs> I did watch some of it last night he texted me the one where they put the dog the helmet on the dog and it talks about like Trump being sick it was like from a year and a half ago yeah and he's just like he just sends me this and he's like this is this is so funny I'm like. Yeah, this is pretty funny. I remember this. And I'm like, this is tight. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, just chilling. He's like, yeah, I'm smoking a cigar. Your mom's in bed. Just me. I'm out here by myself. And I'm like, this dude never texts me. Yeah. This guy's fucking has to be high. He's fucked up. Has to be stoned. And does something. he drink? No. So oh, he, like, well, he then, just yeah. starts texting me all this weird. He's like, yeah, pretty nice. I'm out here by myself smoking a cigar. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? 
I kept Dudes my phone. love bragging about smoking cigars, though. That's if you true. smoke a cigar, you you have to have someone see it or tell someone. <laughs> true. Otherwise, there's no point to smoking a cigar. I saw a guy catching one at like 7.30 when I flew out in the morning. Like a TSA worker just chomping a fucking like six-inch cigar. Unlit? No, he was he was he smoking. Was smoking it. It. Yeah, he's fucking Damn. had his mouth. I'm like, dude, you're about to start your day like this. You're gonna bother everybody around you. Cigars Actually, suck, bro. I, I don't like them. I try, I try. Every once in a while, I try, especially at weddings. Usually, I take a break, and it's like, oh, well, I'm gonna have to be out here for 45 minutes to smoke this fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm drunk enough, it's, a, it's like a two day. You signing up for like shit breath for like two days. Yeah, and I inhale. <laughs> do you? Yeah, I always do, dude. Come on, bro. You're like the owner of the fucking you monster. You're like the owner of the Monstars, dude. <sighs> Chomp down yeah, and hell a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So uh, your dad got high. Saturday Night Live, that's because I think Che, Michael Che's the head writer. Really? I think. Well, now it's good. I was so watching. So it's a little less woke. They did the, uh, what the fuck did they do? They did the, it's like a Jeopardy, but like who can play the role of, and they were like naming different ethnicities and like, like white. It was, was pretty, it Black Jeopardy? It wasn't Black Jeopardy. It was just it well, it was Keenan. Jeopardy? It was Keenan. Yeah, it's Black Jeopardy. Okay, because so I guess the round was like, who can you play? Yeah. In a thing, and there's a white guy being like a racist, um, an overweight dad, and that's it. And they're like, correct, dude. It was pretty yeah. funny. And they're uh, the they're... Black Jeopardy with Tom Hanks is is art. What, what was that one? It. Tom Hanks is like a white trash Trump supporter. Really? And they're like, do you vote? He's like, hell no. The whole game's rigged. Hell yeah. And they're like, god damn, man. It's starting <laughs> yeah, to make oh, sense. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. everything. But in that same episode, they're like. Black Jeopardy is brought to you by Sprite. Sprite, how did we become the black drink? <laughs> it's great. Oh man, yeah, it was fun, man. I was uh, again, just immersed, dude, in a whole other culture. I got too fucked up on Friday, <laughs> and then Saturday, mom's birthday party. Just your mammy's nothing, birthday party. Was Saturday? Almost nothing worse than being hung over at a family party. Yeah. Oh, I was getting judged by everybody. What were they saying? They're like, you look like shit. Like, every single person was like, you look like shit. Ugh. You look horrible. I'm like, all right, great. It's good to be here. That sucks. Just slogging through this fucking party. It sucks. You just want to lay down. There's kids screaming. Yeah, it's pretty horrible, dude. I've, yeah, I've being, done that. Being, I haven't been that hungover in a while. That was a rough one. That was a 5 a.m. You, you shouldn't like, have some fucking respect, dude. <laughs> smoking a blunt at 5 Somebody died, dude. True, a guy got She's hit like, I'm not even hung over, dude. I'm mourning. I'm just mourning the guy who got smashed by a car. Yeah, but you fucking assholes. You should have ran, ran to your room like, fuck you guys. I, I fucking the door. hate you guys. <laughs> Someone died at the fucking dirt track. You guys are here Mom. fucking around. <laughs> How can oh, you, you think celebrate? About, oh, you think about your birthday? <laughs> fuck that, dude. Yeah, it was, uh, that was wild, man. Everybody ran over to that part of the track where the crash was. Mm. You could just see smoke coming up. It was like, oh, man. And then people were like... Started walking away from the wreck, like crying and like no booze. What do you mean? Like, boo! Oh no, nobody booed the. Uh, maybe him now that he's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, ooh, <laughs> finally the racetrack is very spooky. <laughs> this is fucking. It's like, got to be haunted over there. How many bodies, dude? There's <laughs> got to be a ton it's of got, bodies. It's got. It's what one a year? Yeah, probably. Shit. Dude. Yeah. Jesus. You got to come with me. I, I it's do. So, dude. Well, There's I'm gonna a wait a year. Ass cornfield. Like in the back behind of course. it, the sun was like going down behind the cornfield. Like right when we walked, are there in, any I was shortcuts? Like, this is fucking sick. Is there any shortcuts? No, it's not like, like Mario Kart. It's not yeah. like Mario Kart. That's what like... that guy tried to take. He, he tried <laughs> to hit. The, he tried to hit the jump, and someone put a banana there. <laughs> someone put an old man the in the guy. way, dude. <laughs> yeah. Jesus someone put a fake Christ. box. Dude, what do you think about all the deaths right now? The uh, shootings. Oh man, you think they're for real? Oh, uh, yeah. You think so? <laughs> yeah, I think they're real. You think so? I think saying otherwise is not a good look for us. Not at all. Yeah. It's just a lot. My, th- I want to know when did this start, dude? Shootings. We've we've been had guns. I'm not turning this into an anti takeaway gun argument, but I like think, we had guns, dude. So I think when in, I think in '04, an assault rifle ban got lifted in the United States. Really? I think. And people started shooting. And then fire. people started. Why were people? Pounding. Wouldn't people have been like going in with like muskets and fucking lighting up the town? Like when did this? When did this it's, start? It's. I believe it's pharmaceuticals. You th- I think so too. I think without a doubt. That's fucked. Yeah. Because it's like, they're happening now, they're like one a week, one a week. They're all kids that were, they're all like dudes that were, you know, 90s kids that were given Ritalin and shit their whole lives. It fucks your brain chemistry up. Yeah. Taking all those like antidepressants, anti anxiety things. Well, it was on the books making people, uh, like a sliver of people, more suicidal. Yeah. So it's like, 
if and that's been established. So like you're saying, there's no link between like homicidality. Or and whatever. what sucks about it is, even having that discussion, people are like, "You're making an excuse for white men, white terrorism." It's and it's like, dude, we're not making an excuse for it. It's just yeah. let's let's figure out why. Unless you believe the answer is that white men are inherently evil. Then in that case, we can stop searching for a problem. Well, there's no, there's people who are saying it's literally Trump. Trump has like emboldened, there's like dormant shooters who are yeah. like, I need to go to the mall and light people up. But like Trump finally came and they were like, now I go. Now it's time. Yeah. Well, that's what the Sandy Hook guy said. He said he loved uh, The Apprentice. He was a big Trump guy even back then. Sandy Hook. Shooter. Sandy Hook was like in his manifesto. He was like, The Apprentice fucking rules. It's fucking hilarious. What no, about that's the? Not true. What about the? Well, okay. I was like, I, I was trying to prove that. I was like, I didn't were, think you did. They preceded Trump Daddy. Yeah, that's true. I, for a second, I was like, I mean, I guess these guys probably write some wild yeah. shit. Well, it's weird to. I I bet Trump doesn't help. Shooters. But I don't know. Dude, it, I don't. I, I'm just trying to figure out like, when do these dudes start doing like this? If this was just like an organic response to just like some sort of political ideology, it, it's just it, it's weird. And every, every, that's what everyone says. They're like, oh, this is terrorism. He's not calling it terrorism. And it's like, whatever. Yeah, sure, you can call it terrorism. But, like, dude. Yeah. Was, is there a collective cause? And are all of these shooters citing a similar thing? That's, that, that's I, think, a, I think a lot of them are. Are being like. I think a lot of them are like 4chan type. Really? Yeah. The last, I mean, Christchurch and then this El Paso guy. Both of them. Those two. Jeez. They were fired up on some 4chan. They were on that fucking. They were on that billion spud tip. Well, being hard. a con- being a conspiracy theorist now is recognized as being a FBI like terror like a terrorist gang. If you identify as like if you like start talking Q, they're they basically put a thing in. Basically, they're going to treat that like I'm like being like ISIS fucking rules. Well, if people from Q and all that shit are QAnon and like all that shit are shooting up places. I think they should look into it. Yeah, but keep an eye on those fucking chat boards. But if everyone in QAnon's like, dude, this is a clear fucking conspiracy. There's no, they're no one. They're <laughs> not telling anyone. They're the last thing they're doing is telling people to go shoot people up. They're like, they keep setting up mass shootings. So the last thing a hardcore conspiracy theorist QAnon is going to do yeah. is going to v- verify the government narrative that like crazed white supremacists are shooting people up. Yeah, but I think crazed white supremacists are shooting people. You think up. there's lurkers who are on the Q thing who are just like, sorry guys, can't help it. I'm uh, going in. I don't know. I think those guys. I mean, for it. sure. For sure, there's dudes who fucking are freaking out. So, wait, you think that these guys are. No, I, not I just. On there? No, I just want to. I just want to. No, there's definitely dudes. Dude, yeah. For, there's definitely dudes who are rolling up and fucking. Who've had enough. Yeah. And they're just being like, fuck it, dude. But. My thing is, is there a difference between a dude? I guess not. If you're like on the, if you love the internet that much, where you're like, I'm gonna light up a mall versus, see, I don't know, I don't, know. I don't know if it has the same, if it is the same thing. Of what ISIS, do you mean? Versus ISIS, ISIS oh, being versus like ISIS? Western civilizations at the end. Da, 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 da. I mean, does every? I mean, was Timothy McVeigh a terrorist? I don't know. You gotta watch the thing. I didn't watch the documentary. I can't say, but yeah, he definitely blew up a building. But he told people to get out. <laughs> I mean, that's different, dude. If you're if you're gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna tell yeah, but people use explosives to, get... to blow up a federal building, like yeah, as but... a protest against the government. That's a terrorist act for sure. But it's also like, if you're telling people, if you're like terrorism, where like I'm gonna kill everybody in my way, I don't give a fuck. That's one brand of terrorism. Being like, hey guys, a little Robin Hood terrorism. Like, hey guys, don't be in this building. I'm gonna blow it the fuck up. A little Robin. You think McVeigh was more of a Robin Hood type? If you tell people to get out, that's at least <laughs> he blew a, shred... up a daycare. Did he? Yeah. Who didn't tell him to get out? Maybe the he was like, four-year-olds hey, didn't get that memo. He was like, hey, kids. Yeah, he blew up a daycare. So who did he tell to leave? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So he's a bad boy. I didn't he's, know that. Uh, I didn't know bad. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty bad. <laughs> he blew up a fucking daycare. Jeez. Yeah, bro. Jeez. Yeah, and these guys shooting this thing up, even if they're on... Yeah, you got to look into it. I'm not saying fucking bug everybody that's on fucking a not like looking up conspiracy theories because it's fun yeah because it is kind of fun it is fun and some of them are true that's the other thing some of them are, uh, yeah but the whole you know what is weird i will say this billy this is fucking weird yeah billy called me well i probably called him but we were talking mm-hmm. and he was like the tape of the clintons is gonna surface anytime something bad happens with the clintons there's a shooting before it he told me that like three days ago Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a little like, oh, Billy's on to something here. But I don't think that has anything to do with it. I think there's... 
a real fucking issue with dudes. I think it's pharmaceuticals again. And I think the reason it's mostly white guys is because they're usually the ones with access to like, you know, they're from suburban homes that they were taken to the doctor as a young kid because they had mental, they were probably like dickheads in school. Mm -hmm. So they got loaded up with pills. Yeah. I think that's why it's a white guy issue. True. Because we're the only ones fucking injecting our kids with so much shit. Not true now. They're, Not true now. Fucking, exactly. That's why they're I. They're pumping little That's why years ago shit. I prophesied sure. that there would be some black shooters headed through the pipes. Yeah. Although there were three black shooters in Harrisburg DC's this weekend. Night. What? No one's chatting about them. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, there yeah, were more. That's, yeah. That was just kind of running and gunning. That was just classic. That's just running and gunning. That's just a different type of shooter. Yeah, don't, that don't even get me started on, dude, the different. Uh, well, they, people do separate that. They're like, it's not an act of terror. This is an act of, and it's like, okay, well, you know. It's pretty fucked up. Either way, I hear you. But but I was watching fucking CNN about it, and they were just like, will Donald Trump call it white terrorism? And it's like, dude, shut up. Yeah, Why are man. you guys making this Democrats, Republicans? Both sides. It's fucking Th- nuts. That's my problem. They always like, do that. They my, always do dude, that. Dude, that's, that's, and this is where, this is my beef. This is, this is my little stake in the sand. It's like, why are we examining this through a political lens? We should be like, okay, we have people that more and more yeah. who are freaking the fuck out to the point where they're just shooting at malls. <laughs> and it's just, we're just like, ah, shit. And like another one happens and it's God like... damn GOP. <laughs> dude, it's fucking crazy. Dude, think God of it. The- damn it, my political enemies keep doing this. Yeah, dude, it's <laughs> like- fucking bizarre, man. That that does like free. That's the thing that freaks me out about it. I'm like, you. That's this is your guys' content point of. This is your beef being like, yeah. Oh, well, this is you know the fact that he, I mean, it's one thing that people are coming and shooting up the mall with like, I don't know. I mean, I guess some of them have a clear agenda. Some. What was the DC sniper on? I don't know exactly. A lot of the, a lot of these dudes, to me at least, I don't I don't dig in. I'm gonna start digging into these actually, but a lot of them to me are just like dudes fucking shooting stuff up. I don't I don't get my hands on the. That's kind of what. Uh... The CNN thing was interesting because there was an author that wrote like a Columbine, a book about Columbine, and then a book about uh, Parkland. And he was like, on air, he was like, these guys are just dipshits. He's like, they're not writing political manifestos. Yeah. They're scribbling down gibberish and then shooting things up. There's no, while everyone was like, this is, if these were Muslims, we'd be calling it terrorists. It's like, shut up. I don't need to make it racist now. Yeah. It's like it's already a fucking horrific. I don't know. I mean, obviously there's truth to that, but shut sure. up. No, I can Say see it that. once. Let's not spend a whole episode. I mean, they do on call this. McVeigh domestic terrorists. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Or that would be that's the inverse logic though, of being like white guy shot people, obviously terrorism is like, well, you gotta give it a second. Like if a fucking Saudi Arabian dude shoots people, you give like terrorist, and if you're like actually he wasn't, you're like, ah shit, sorry. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. But either way, that was to me. I'm like, dude, I need to know what I would love to like follow the lineage of mass shooters. Yeah, because I, I, it's like, dude, guns have been around. I, like, I don't have you. I would love to know if that happens in history. Where dudes just started like rolling around, or it's like boom, 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 boom. I guess every uh, now and again, someone you get a sick dog who would go through like a wild west town, have to be put down. Yeah, you but, get like the bell tower guy in Texas. That was in like the '60s, '70s. He went. He went ham. Yeah, he went a little wild. Did he really? Got up in the bell tower at the university. Started sniping people. Started wrecking people. Okay, so he's been... What was his deal? Uh, I think he got hit in the head a lot. <laughs> he was a... Yeah, I think he had PTSD. Okay. He was a wild boy. She... There's a lot of those. Yeah, yeah was, so it's all... I mean, that's kind of the there game was two. Th- there was two this weekend. Yeah. There's a lot. In my head, Dayton, I'm... I think 30, 42 people got killed this weekend. Really? Yeah. In both shootings. Yeah, man, that's the that's where I get a little like I don't want to get watched by the fucking FBI, but I'm like, dude, there was two of these this weekend, and it's like, I mean, I, I I'm gonna so, I'm gonna have to I, dig into it. I just want to no, know dude, what's the central this source. This isn't like a false flag thing. I don't think it's a false flag thing, but it's like, what's the central source? Like, is it centralized? Like, what what is 4chan's ideology, and what about it would be like? I'm gonna shoot people. Are they? I mean, I'm well, all right. Like, so you get it. it it's just retarded people latching on to something. It's a lot like terrorism. Yeah. It's like retarded guys latch on to Islam, and then they're like, oh, I need to do this. Yeah, but a lot of, again, a lot of the 4chan people are super, like, conspiracy theorists. They're all joking theorists. and fucking around, and the conspir- a lot of the conspiracy theorists and shit, but then guys are like, yeah, here's my manifesto. If I kill a bunch of people, they're going to see it, and I'm going to, you know. I have to go on. Yeah, I guess so. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to put a pause on that, because I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to say it's total conspiracy theory, but it's like, dude... Look, man, they're making it so if you even think about something like that, you're all of a, you're all of a sudden shunned. 
That's what I don't like. To be like, there's going to be a built-in thing where people who question the operation of the government are terrorists. It's like, yeah, that's insane. That I see that, and I'm like, well, you can't just you can't just call it that because then it's like now it's it's free season to. Yeah, well, there, I think there's a glaring difference between questioning the operation of the government and these conspiracy theories that are like Obama had children in the White House. You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Or like I think the, that's where it gets a little. Hillary Clinton cut off a mask and put it on. Well, that was, dude. I read an article about how now we're like people are so afraid of getting like manipulated by the government and now like we're up to like make our own narratives up with the internet and, like all the different topics and like the wheels are just coming off dude because we're just left now rather than having people trying to like at least hurt us into like making purchases and like yeah. voting a certain way now the wheels are off we're like we're all in charge of it and it's just like left to all of our own crazy nonsense and it's like now it's like dude we live in a world right now where it's like People are like kind of being like Hillary Clinton definitely wears kids' faces, and then <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. the other side of that is that like everyone the, the Nazis KKK are here. is uprising, and it's like, dude, this is fucking crazy. Damn. Butterly We've... sent me this video; it's so funny. It was, it was like the from the socialist meeting. Mm-hmm. This this lady's on; uh, she's complaining about something, but everybody that's like, uh, this is a point of privilege. Point of privilege here. I'm a little hard of hearing, and I'm very hypersensitive, so everybody here, could you please stop with the chit-chat, okay? And then the Asian lady who's running the thing is like, okay, guys, could you be quiet? And this dude's like, point of privilege, point of personal privilege. Could you please stop using pronouns spe- or gender-specific pronouns, please? <laughs> the whole oh thing, they're all like snapping and God, waving their hands. Dude. dude, it is nuts. Yeah, and that's that's a whole that's the other side. weird little subculture the left side. where they're trying to get things to yeah. go. And dude, I, I watch that... That's a whole thing where, like, you have to have some sort of affliction or even perceived affliction through race in order for your words to mean anything. So, like, the meaning of what you say doesn't mean anything. Otherwise, how you present yourself. And, like, the more you could uh, tap into a victim thing, people are like, well, that's right. The way they were all raising their hands was by screaming, point of personal privilege. What's what's that? I I have no fucking idea what that was. And they're like, okay, comrade, go ahead. He's like, I... Could you please stop using gender specific pronouns, please? And everyone's like, like, yes, yes. Yeah. They all wave their hands and shit. So this is what I this is, and this is my beef. <laughs> my beef isn't to, you know, be like obviously, I, I dude, I'm watching people so drown in propaganda that it just gets worse and worse. Yeah. Now there's like more and more shootings. But again, it's like, and this is the and again, this is where you're. I'm I'm tittering on the deep end, but it's like, do I think the United States, the mechanism it is, would ever stage a shooting? Do I think the people could do that? It's like, I mean, dude, they assassinated JFK. And like that's pretty well known that they did that. So it's like, I don't know, dude. It depends on how. But again, it's also like I watch the politicians and the debates. I'm like, these are just dorks, dude. They they're, not dorks. That, they're not that smart. Like to think that they're putting together like the. Yeah. But then again, if they've had hundreds of years to put it together, it's like, dude, I go. It's like, who knows, dude? <laughs> who knows? But yeah. I think, you know, these people, they're not. That wasn't the government didn't set that up. No, I don't. I, I think people are now really losing their minds and going off. But again, it's like maybe they throw one in. I don't know, dude. How did you know what I mean? Who the fuck knows? I don't think. Yeah, I think it's very. You're very, not allowed to think that anymore. I'm not if, saying that's why you're. Even not. if you were allowed, I for think sure. it's very safe to say that these these for weren't. sure it is. It's for sure safe to say. Yeah, definitely safe. What would they have to gain by this? Taking people's guns away? Yeah, it's like it's like I think they would come up with a new plan. They've tried school shooting and public shooting. Uh, 238 times this year. True. And it still hasn't worked. True. I guess people I are going to come up with something That would be else. kind of annoying if you're like, if dude, you're I got a fucking awesome plan. Like, bro, the public's going to be outraged. We're going to shoot 30 <laughs> kindergartners. Don't tell anyone, but we're doing that. <laughs> and then it goes off. And Alex, and, people and believe Alex Jones. You're like, fuck. Yeah, everyone's like, they're not touching my guns. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How the fuck are these people this evil? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I knew true. I was evil. That's got to be infuriating. Like, yeah. dude, please. The guy's like, please, I cannot stage another school shooting. Like, shut up. Yeah. The votes are at stake. And the 9-11, the, the guys who, you know, put together 9-11, they didn't need to do that. They could have just been like, yo, we're invading Iraq. Fuck yeah. Everyone would be like, hell yeah. No, like, people were way against it. They were like, no Iraq? fucking way. Evading Iraq? Yeah. People when? did not. They were trying to go over there forever. And everyone was like, no, we do not want to go. They were coming off the Vietnam War. So they did like George. No, we already did Desert Storm. Oh, they did the Gulf War and all that shit. The Gulf they already War. did that. Yeah, but that was like that was like they didn't that didn't even do anything. That was to defend I'm, the, Kuwait. The, the the sentiment around 
before 9-11 was like, no, we do, you don't want to go to war. All. I think it was. They just had Desert Storm. They were just there. Well, that was like a fake victory. Yeah, but no, to get there, everyone was like, USA. Yeah. So you're wrong about that. I don't know, dude. I think it was. I no, think I know you are. There was polls that said it was like the United States was not about going over to Iraq. Pre-9-11? Yeah. There were polls that were like, no. I, That's, they were I could there. have sworn they didn't want to, people didn't want to go they over there. They were there like seven years before that. I mean, maybe they didn't want to go back again. Yeah. Well, I they think were just there. I watched a thing. They said like the Gulf War was kind of like everyone was so against going to war after Vietnam. They they did the Gulf War and that was like a fake victory that got morale up again. People were like, yeah, dude, yeah. we are the fucking best. I, I watched a documentary. That's you know that's all I'm, I'm going off of. Again, could be wrong. I don't know. Was it like a 9/11 was a conspiracy documentary? Not at all. It was just kind. It was just talking about uh, how terrorism came about in the Middle East, like how that like spread. And yeah. they were saying like people. There's a lot of people who were like, dude. We did not need to go over there. And then 9-11 happened, and pretty much unanimously everyone oh, was yeah, like, of course. yeah, let's fucking roll. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. You're right. They can just go do that. Well, they could have done what they did to get into Iraq and just be like, hey, he's got weapons of mass destruction. We're going to go kill him. Yeah, we're going to do that. They wouldn't even need to tell us. Yeah. That's the other thing, too. The they worst, don't need to fake 9-11. Worst comes the worst. what I'm saying. Yeah. But they sank Lusitania. They didn't sink it. They, they knew they, about they, it. They exactly. Like, That's what I'm eh. saying. They sent it out, and they are like... Eh. Well, it had arms on it. Yeah. So they were trying to sneak arms into England. Yeah, disguised with a bunch of people. Yeah. So you're talking about a government body who's going to sacrifice civilian life for well, a political maneuver. I don't think they knew the Lusitania was going to get hit. They tried to hide those weapons as, like, they were like, this is just a civilian transport. Still, dude. Imagine, if, imagine if you put, like, 10 kilos of coke in your mom's car and you're like, dude, I didn't know you were going to get pulled over. I just figured you could drive it for me. Well, my bad. <laughs> what if your friend needed ten kilos of coke to fight the Germans? Then dump me the pussy and be like, "All right, we're in it. We're we're gonna get in." You know what I mean? Yeah. So that was like, yeah. Then again, if you have like billions of dollars at stake, you're like, eh, yeah, we'll sorry. help you guys out. Just don't tell anyone. Yeah, sh- yeah. We want true. you to win, dude. All don't I'm saying, like I said, all I'm saying is I don't know. I'm not pretending to be the source of like definitely this, definitely that. Now I'm watching it, like, dude, like imagine from the time you were a little kid. The political narrative, what was going on? They're like, they want to lower taxes, they want to raise taxes. Now it's like into this thing where it's like, they're a fucking Nazi. You worship a satanic, cannibalistic cabal. And that's still like a bit of a fringe, but like, dude, that stuff's starting to bleed into like more and more people. And it's like, what the? I just fuck? watched that uh, that Showtime show on Roger Ailes, yeah, on Fox News. Check it out. That's like. That's like where also the, all this shit. How started. Fox News started? You're saying? Yeah, all this shit about how news is now just entertainment. And you need to rile people up constantly to make it watchable. It's like, that's where we're at. And it started in, like, 97 with, like, Fox News. Yeah. And shit's just been out of control. Well, it's also with Q. The Q stuff is such an easy... I think there are people who are smart enough in Washington, D.C. Because they're they're pulling literal, like, internet metadata. So they're like, how do I reach... You know, because they're like, geezers are dying. So you constantly need to, like, come up with new strategy to lock people into your party. Yeah. So, like, if they're doing the, if there's like think tanks being like, how are you going to get twenty to thirty year old dudes to start back into the GOP? Like, this, the dads were GOP people. We want to get like young white dudes in back into the GOP. I don't think it, that's hard. I I think they use Q to do that. I think Q. All you need Q's for, an inside job now. For sure, dude. All you need. <laughs> I think all this stuff is political propaganda. The two party system is the enemy. That's that's my ultimate. Yeah. That's my ultimate point. It always gets lost because whenever I navigate either side, I get lost in the fucking. You know, whatever yeah. party I'm talking about, I'm looking at the fucking the two party system is the you know the Technotron from Ninja Turtles just yeah. walking around. So it's like, I think Q is a GOP being like, all right, we you know we can get like they don't trust like young twenty three year olds. A lot of them don't trust the media. So there's there's other polls that do say like seventy five percent of people don't believe what they read in the media yeah. or like at least don't trust it. Even though every person I talked to was like, I read it in the newspaper, therefore it's true. But it, in order to do that. They're like, what if we put it together a thing where, like, obviously we're political insiders with a lot of power, and obviously we kind of know what's going to be in the newspaper two weeks beforehand. So what yeah. if we, like, send little pictures out and convince them that, like, we're the inside track trying to save people? So you have, like, people saving people from Nazis, and you have, like, this inside coup. Bro, if Dude, you believe that there's all-powerful things out there, not all every powerful. single thing is going to be a conspiracy. Not all, not all powerful. Yeah, but every single thing. Like, now, now Q is... In on it? Q is some form of conspiracy. Like they've had, they've sent pictures of people 
months before a person got arrested. So I think there's people who know people in the media. And this this isn't even a conspiracy. The conspiracy, the real conspiracy is that it's like a a fucking military coup who's about to arrest Hillary Clinton for like <laughs> eating kids. This yeah. is saying this is talking about no, political. No, I know what you're saying. Political the, the people pushing all that crazy shit have an But they're getting themselves. like pictures of people like of like prominent political figures getting on a private flight. So it's like who where are you getting those pictures from? So again, I think this could be a a way to kind of steer voters in to just like come up with this wild dude that's a wild fucking thing that there's like a secret online person who's dropping breadcrumbs of people and then like yeah well it's it doesn't he he gets stuff wrong constantly sometimes but like even to get those pictures i don't so know about the pictures there's like there's some and again you have to get into it but it, it is a bit like you're saying there's so many things and it's a bit horoscopical that you can kind of like analyze it but there if you look into it you will find people being like, well this thing happened and this was like two days before so some of them line up a little and like i said not saying the person's right all the time and if it's like if it was spot on every single time it would get blown they the other party would be like who the fuck is dishing out the goods dude this is too yeah. much you, so you, you would get fucked for espionage so you think he's getting it wrong on purpose sometimes to keep the heat off i don't know i don't it could <laughs> this could be a team dude of, of literal people trying to steer people over just to get people to vote republican yeah, so there's you, a lot of money. There's billions of dollars at stake. That's the other thing too. Okay. And these are billion. Like, dude, if you navigate any sort of like help system, phone system, any company, they're set up in a way that's like clearly run by sociopaths. So like, they try to fuck you out of insurance. They'll try to fuck you out of like your life insurance. Like that's built into the business. So the political machine that's beholden to those that business is somehow people like, I was hanging in a coffee shop and I want these boys. I was yeah. down there. It's like, I don't know. I I'm I just am like. I think it's somewhere between all of it. I think there's some people who are doing a couple... People pull little capers here and there. There's a bunch of people who are idiots and like shit just unfolds. But there are people, I think, who are like not successfully all the time, like people say, but there's there's stuff happening that I think is like totally kind of a scam. And I think Q is a way to get people to vote. It was it was a way to pull young voters back into the... To so you back. think the GOP backed yes. Q? Yes. They, start, they were like, hey, how can we reach these kids? Let's create... A conspiracy theory board. Yes. Okay. It's possible. I think they I think they looked at like internet metadata and like, well, they don't believe any of the shit in newspapers, but you know what they do believe? Conspiracy theories. Which is funny because that's kind of what happened to like Alex Jones, where he was like a conspiracy theory guy, and then they were like, He's controlled by the CIA. You oh know? yeah, they say he's well Trump talks to Alex Jones. Trump's been like I'm a fan of the show, you're great. He Thanks. was, yeah. And he got I think he they stopped talking. I think he cut ties, yeah. yeah. I think he t- I think he complimented him post Sandy Hook though. Like I want to <laughs> yeah, say I, think, yeah, I so. think he did. He was I think like he talked to him during the election. Whatever, what you're doing is important. He was talking to him like during the election, which was way after he claimed Sandy Hook was fake. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So but he could always be like, I didn't know. I knew the people of Sandy Hook, great people. Yeah. Sorry. But it's funny that all these like conspiracy boards or like conspiracy people end up be, everyone. I mean, dude, everyone that reads it or listens to it is like, wait, you're a conspiracy. Oh, they're they're you all know? a shill. Alex Jones is a shill for the Zionists. They all that's yeah. like the ultimate within the conspiracy. But now Q's a shill. A, a lot of people. I think and I think Q is a shill. shill. There was people calling this out way back when. I know Q's it's just shill. funny that no matter what, if you're a conspiracy theory person, if you write conspiracy, well, what, theories, what is the opposite though? You're going to end up eventually being accused of being a conspiracy yourself for sure for That's sure it's funny but what what is the opposite being like we live in an ordered society where like these are just people and they're setting it up and everything's operating within the bounds of a like there's no that's billions. not the opposite the opposite it's, of hillary clinton cutting a nine-year-old's face off and wearing it isn't everything's working as exactly how it should no that's but a lot opposite. of people who so a lot of people though so it's really obviously yeah that sounds crazy but if you even question a little bit of stuff they just shut that down because they don't want to be a lot allied with conspiracy theory whatsoever so they're like that's all ridiculous that's my that's my whole point where it's like yeah that shit's there's some wild shit in there and if you're you know if you're walking around like, crossing your fingers like here it comes it's like dude don't hold your breath yeah and also if you're a kid who's by yourself all the time you're you're on a ton of fucking antidepressants or anti-anxiety things and you're on a message board every night that's like the reptiles are taking over you, you know you get an ar-15 and go to walmart that's true it's wild. Yeah, I mean, that's there's a whole other sub-world of that guy's life, What's go, what else is going on in that world. But it's also like, dude, when you're watching your YouTubes and all your political information's coming from, like, one-second clips of the person owning the other person, you're just like, yes, they're right again. Yes, the, yeah. yes, yes. And you're just watching this being like, fuck yeah, you, you will get pissed off. Some people get yeah. really pissed when they watch that. So well, it, I don't think it's as conspiratorial as it is just totally profit-driven, like... That's the algorithm. People keep watching it, so we for set sure, it up that for way. sure, for sure. 
Like I don't think it's as evil. For sure. You know? Netflix is Netflix is questionable. Yeah, but I bet their the numbers is all they're after. True. So like maybe if it starts to fail, they'll stop putting liberal shit out. But until then, they're gonna keep doing. It. I think they're stopping. I think it's stopping a lot. I'm telling it's you, I was watching. Working. I was watching SNL and I was going. But then again, you get into the and this is where the conspiracy stuff does get annoying because it's almost an endless thing of like, well, it doesn't even matter at this point. They can, they're just purely trying to propagandize, and it's like, no, there's people who are trying to make money off of like a lot of the production. Well, I also I remember I remember when I was studying propaganda in school, and I was just mm-hmm. like, oh, everything's propaganda. Like as soon as I heard about, it, I was like, oh fuck, I didn't know that. Like literally every single thing is propaganda. Then yeah, in terms which of it is advertising, so. but. Everything. If what it's like, where does the line? If it's like, like Nick Nick Junior's has was made to sell toys to little kids. Like the purpose of Nick Junior is from an advertising think tank to get the whole purpose is to, it's called to uh, engage a nag. Yeah, where you they make show the little nag, kids, yeah. the little kid goes nags the mom, nags the mom. So like yeah. that's the that's where Nick Junior is made. So it's like that's kind of sinister to turn a kid into like a weird little like. Mom, mom, the mom yeah. might not have enough money, and the kid's like, meh, the kid starts crying just because like it wants some dumb fucking Play-Doh, and it's like, you're down, that's a kind of an evil thing to do. So it's like, how evil does the, how, you know, what can someone live with? If you were doing a business where you're like, I'm going to get kids to cry and have their parents like, <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. that's fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm going to create a product so good that people cry to get it. Or do you, not even yes. this, it's not even that good. It's like I'm gonna create a product and target it to a way in a four year old the way like they're I'm gonna t- I'm gonna use experts in psycho and child psychology to craft a message that's so <laughs> yeah. undeniable to a kid that if it doesn't get it it'll be such a little miserable dickhead that his parents will go fuck it and use their money and buy this thing to shut their kid up. That's an evil enterprise. It's capitalism, baby. Woo! I mean, that's one version. Of, yeah, that's a yeah. part of it. That's, yeah. that's fucking evil, dude. Yeah, it's so no good. So it's like, and if you don't think that... Bunch of those Nickelodeon guys are pedophiles. I mean, They obviously. got rounded up. Yeah, who did They got is, rolled. Did they really? Yeah. They got rolled up? It's all a meme. That was a bunch of the Nickelodeon guys. Pedophiles. I mean, uh, yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. If you choose to get it. They're around all those hot kids on all that. Yeah, imagine if I'm being... Dude, like child Disney stars... Kids. Child stars are fucking If you're hot. a pedo <laughs> around a child star, you must be like, oh my God. Yeah. Dude, I watched the fucking Joe, the Michael Jackson movie, Jackson 5. That movie's fucking crazy, dude. I don't know about it. It's pretty tight. It's just, oh, wait, is that the old one? It's old they one. They get their ass yeah, beat by the dad and shit. Joe Jackson, dude. He like yeah. he beat the funniest part of he it is him with switches. Him beating his kids' ass, and even when they're like super successful, he come. They're like someone. They had like a, a mansion in L.A. Someone yeah. left a towel in the pool, and he comes home. He's like, "Where are the boys? Where are the boys?" <laughs> and the lady's like, "Come on," or Catherine, whatever her name is, like, "Joe, relax." He's like, "This is between me and the boy." He just wanted to continue beating his kids. Damn. Even when they were like a global sensation, he's like, I gotta <laughs> dude, beat these fucking towel kids. in the pool, dude. He, I looked him up. He looks like the Babadook in real life. Really? Yeah, oh, he's a scary looking yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. You I've see him, him now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scary looking dude. They're all scary. He They're was all very the, scary. Someone jumped Joe Jackson at one point. What? Someone came, he was coming out of a gig with the boys. Someone beat the fuck out of him, took all their equipment. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Oh!" Someone hit him with a switch. Someone hit him with a switch. Someone beat came his fucking, out of the switch. <laughs> someone beat his fucking ass. Damn. But yeah, I dude, I, that's my my problem is now it's set up to where like I'm I'm in between just two total extremes, dude. And there it's advantageous to like kind of like you know you can create you can cater to either one of them that you I'm want. I'm out that game, baby. I heard I that. dabbled I dabbled for a while into all this shit. In, what and catering to like just all the like I don't know all the politics, all the fucking Reddit and shit. I can't yeah. I can't do it. What do you mean by that? I just can't even be involved in politics. For sure. I can't. It's it's I don't know anything. I'm dumb. I'm out. My thing is the people who are like purporting to study this stuff closely get so sucked up on a one of the sides that it's just kinda like, all right, dude, like you're gonna sit here and tell me all the good news. Like Ben Shapiro show is just like, here's all the things that's sick to be a Republican about and it's just like you're you you don't you're you're not at any point in your argument are you like, eh, well this is one kind of weird part. Well, guess who it is market is? Who? Republicans. I so know. he's gonna go on and be like, Hey, you guys are great, the other side's bad. That's what all these people are doing every single time, no matter what the network is. I'm too much of an Apollonian, dude. It's my it's my downfall. Maybe, but uh, sure. All of these are doing the same thing. Fox News, everybody. For sure. They're like, our side's good, other side's bad. If a shooting happens, our side's good. Yeah. Look at what the other side's... Even the Republicans are like, or, the, or Fox News is like, they're trying to take your guns. True. Anytime there's a shooting. Like, instead of, you know, praying about it, they're making it political and trying to take your guns. Then the other side's like, Trump won't call it white terrorism. Trump's yeah. a white terrorist. 
Yeah, but meanwhile, China's setting up like a social cre- like a social credit system. Meanwhile, like, China, we'll probably, China's, China's we'll got probably the social credit system. China's like, we're the media. Don't worry about the fucking two party yeah. system. There's yeah, one party. Dude. If you're not on our party, you're getting your head fucking cut off. Now you're and, giving me the heebie jeebies. And dude. we're controlling the entire world while the United States rips itself apart. Tell me a people's republic. By its own doing. The By pe- its own doing. We're sure. doing this to ourselves. There's sure. no I know that everybody's like Russia, all these other things. It's us. Damn, it's the United States dude. killing itself. That's dude. That's what the that's what literally exactly what the article in the Atlantic said. That it turned into like the Atlantic. What the Atlantic does is like shreds. It'll like build up arguments to talk about stuff on the left. For the most part, they they like mix stuff in here and there. But this guy wrote an article and he's just shredding like Trump supporters and da 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 da. And then at like the last page is just him being like, and also like this applies to the left. And he'll like sneak that. He'll sneak a whole thing and basically about that. Yeah. How we're just now left to our own crazy devices to interpret just like all these mixed messages and all you can do is either jump aboard to one of them and just live in a little vacuum or you just become like you just have no fucking clue what's going on that's where Tune i live. out baby i live in a world that's just like totally have no idea what's going on yeah i made a mistake of watching the news yesterday damn not doing that again that shit sucked it bothers me yeah because it's not it's so fucking transparent whatever channel you're watching it's like jesus christ yeah it could sucks. they not yeah could they just fucking watch chill? watch that roger ailes show I on showtime it's wild about fox news yeah Hell yeah! It's them just being like, we're we're here to make an entertainment channel. Like this is te- this is entertainment. It's like News vi- it was just like Vice hours. for like forty five year old white dudes. Exactly, <laughs> it really was. Yeah. It really was. And there's Damn. you know it's just to incite like you like we talked about before when it's like it's just two political parties making their voting base angry enough to go vote. That's what our country is. That's so funny. Over and over Evil again on dude. both sides, they're just like we got to vote, otherwise the communists are coming. We gotta Jesus. vote, otherwise, you know. Otherwise, I'm gay. The Nazis are coming. The Nazis <laughs> versus communists. That's where we are in America. I know, I know. Fucking retards. Holy shit, man! It's bad. It's bad news. Yang, man, I think Yang will pull us out of it, dude. I think that fucking Chinaman's coming. Well, He's gonna save us. Yeah. Well, it's funny. I watch some of the debates, and you watch Yang being like. He's like, oh, all these politicians are up here with like their pre-recorded stuff, and like, I'm not like that at all. Like, I didn't even wear a tie <laughs> yeah. today, and all everyone talks about that like, don't wear a tie, and like, I promise, I didn't even think about not wearing a tie, and like. I'm just like way more chill than everyone. It's like, dude, Yang is not chill. Nah, bro. I've been watching him. Too. I mean, dude, I'll take a G. I'm I'm strictly voting for him for selfish reasons. I'm trying to get a G out of Yang. I don't. You're care not gonna what, be able to vote. I for don't him. care what happens. You're gonna have to write the Yang man in. You think so? He's not gonna be on the ballot. True. I don't. I gotta. I gotta check. I gotta call my mom again. And have her check what political party I'm in. Dude. Yeah. You're I still. In pub, dude. I have never voted. Yeah, I'm not gonna vote. My mom looked it up. She's like, "You're the Green Party," and I was like, "I don't know." Like, <laughs> the Green I don't party. Think I'm in the Green Party. Yeah. You can look it up. I don't think you can look. My it up. My mom Googled it, dude. She got mad at me. I was like, "I was like, mom, I've never voted. I don't even." You can you Google can, people's political parties. You can Google. Yeah, you can. You can look. I think you need your information. To I think do I'm it. a Republican. Then you're a Republican. I think I'm a Republican. See, one time I was. Walking, I think I was 16, and I or 18, I guess. You're like, and I'm I renewed going. my license. You're like, what? It's like, what political party are you? Where are you? I we forgot. were the Harrisburg DOT. Yeah, and they were just like Republican. They gave yeah. you your license out. They're like, here yeah, you go. Like, you're definitely a Republican, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna vote, and uh, you're gay if you do. That's yeah. our fuck. No, I mean, if you care about it, go vote. If you yeah. know what you're talking about and you think you're right, yeah. But chances are you don't know shit, and uh, dude, don't. Did you get into like uh, all this stuff about like? The, well, here's this is gonna be a, and I again, I I would love to know if this if this is not the case. But you hear about the stuff with Baltimore, how they have like, I mean, this was over the course of 10 years, but apparently it's like $2.3 billion. And they're like, where did it go, bro? And I, I don't, again, I don't know about Baltimore, Philly, where I basically oh, around dude. here, dude, they got the Obama promise zone. They got like, I think it was either hundreds of millions or a bill. They got a lot of money from the federal government. Dude, if you look around Mantua and West Philly, it's like, I mean, if someone gave someone a billion dollars and was like, where is it, dude? Well, you don't have any like humongous buildings or like new murals. Those okay. Some expensive murals, dude. Okay, you're There's talking nice murals out here, dude. Th- where did it go? That's and that's a point where it's like, yeah, that's a real problem, dude. Yeah. Because again, I've I've tasted people who work around Yo, government money. You want to you know how fucking propagandized my dad is? What do you do? I was like, Phil, I got a show down in Baltimore. He's like, place is a shithole. <laughs> I'm like, uh, are you saying that right now because Trump said it? He's like, Shane, let me tell you something. Oh my Baltimore god, Baltimore is a dump. Okay. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. We agree. It is <laughs> shitty. But would you say that you're bringing that up right now oh because my God. Trump just said that? And he's like, Shane, I'm not, th- nothing to do with that. Oh. It's got nothing to do with it. He, he will it's got never, a, that must have pissed him off so he will bad. never, ever admit 
it's so fun, dude. Trying to argue with my dad, he just instantly changes the subject. He's a good arguer good, good as job, far yeah. as it's very slippery. I'll be like, yes or no? <laughs> Would you say simple yes or no answer? Would you say that you are saying Baltimore is a shithole because Trump just said that? Yes or no? Only yes or no? And no, Shane. Let me tell you something. <laughs> like he just will not answer. He's basically a dude on the stage. He's unbelievable. Again, I asked you if you were would support a seventy percent tax rate. Like I'll tell you what, I, I think rich people <laughs> yeah, yeah. need to pay money. It's and like, uh, no, no, no. Just answer the question: yes yeah, or no. Not having it, Shane. Dude, what are you doing? Smoking calling dope? someone? Calling some? Oh, really? Is that his new thing now? Yeah, he caught me. I told him I smoked dope. So yeah, you told him you're smoking a blunt. I told him I smoked a blunt. This was before that, though. So really, so this was, yeah. We gotta get the geezers on weed in this country. I really think the geezers need to be on weed in this country, dude. Just fucking, just a little bit. Dude. <laughs> Remember the first time I got high and watched the news? I was like nineteen, and I, I like my someone put. The, I think my brother put the news on. I was stoned and I watched it and went like, "Well, this reminds me of the homeroom show." And I was like, "Oh man, dude. <laughs> Channel One." Yeah, exactly. Anderson right? Cooper, dude. He was on Channel One. Was he really? He was a Channel One boy. Coop was on the homeroom Anderson show. Anderson Coop started on the homeroom show. Shh. She, yeah, bro. Now yeah. he's gay. Yeah, for sure. Well, no, CIA yes. turned him gay. Yeah, CIA made it. They were Obviously, like, how can we yeah. make you perfect? You're too white. Obviously, yeah. Say I'm gay. Dye your hair gray. He's like, no. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, that's that's one of the... Well, it's everybody's... It's like uh, geezers watch the news like they're watching the, like a sports a, a game. It's like, yeah. this is my team. This True. My, I'm the home team. True. The away team's evil. It's kind of nice, though. Yeah, it's funny. Dude, I would watch, my dad would watch like State of the Unions like he was watching a football game. He would watch like Obama say shit and be like, you fucking liar. <laughs> he'd be drinking and he'd be like, hey, look at this asshole, lying. <laughs> That's now funny. he watches Trump stuff and he's like, I'll tell you what, Shane, not that bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's not that bad. I think he's got the country's best interests in mind. That's I'm like, so Phil, this guy's a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump is a fucking psycho. Like, look, I don't care if I don't care, but like, let's let's be adults about this. Yeah, let's call it like what it is. Donald yeah. Trump is not a good person. He's not. Not yeah. that you need a good person to be a leader. That's true. Sometimes it Genghis helps. Genghis Khan. Genghis was doing great for Mongolia. Kind of do need a sociopath now. That I think of it. If you want to have a good empire, as soon as you're not a sociopath, and they're like, "Dude, you just bombed us," you're like, "Oh fuck, I'm so sorry." Yeah, I, my bad. How many people died? Like a hundred. You're like, "Fuck," you're like, "I quit." Shit. We gotta shut the military down. Yeah, if you're just yeah. kind of like, well. You need a retard running the country. You need yeah. an angry, powerful retard. <laughs> For sure. Because that's what you're up against. <laughs> I know, the whole dude. world is led by <laughs> angry retards. True. And they're, if, if your country is weak, like the only way like Canada can afford to be gay with Trudeau is because we have a giant retard. True. Like our retard is so fucking powerful that neighboring countries they can, can have be like, like a lesser, nicer retard. Right. That's what the Western Europe, you know, that's what they have. They yeah. know the fucking sassy daddies. Like if someone touches them, we're going out. That's yeah. We're, if but, anyone touches any of those countries, we have to bomb them by default. Yeah, that's we got. Why they, that's why they we call, got fucked. Europe, dude. Yeah. I'm telling you, England. We revolted halfway through. They're like, you know what, man? Fuck this. Whatever. We'll just control them some other way. And then all of a sudden, they're <laughs> like, now if someone bombs England, America drops a nuke on them or something, we're like, England can be like, hey guys, you owe us one. Or I don't know. I bet if someone bombed England, we'd have to. We. I bet if something happened to some of these countries, Trump is vindictive enough to be like, remember when you called me fat? Oh, remember when you guys were calling me fat? Remember the G twenty? Not very funny now. Sam the best. Deleted. <laughs> Imagine like Sam the best. You have to say I'm the best, and then we'll blow them up. <laughs> That's yeah. true. I mean, good lord! Imagine if there was World War Three and our our FDR was fucking Trump. Uh, That'd be so embarrassing. Uh, Jesus. All the Christ. history books, just pictures of that guy, just like we did it. <laughs> we won. We're the best. That's this is something I really do get into, and I wonder about. If they, because when you follow any of these world issues full scale, mm -hmm. the overpopulation is like a looming serious problem. And I, and this is like, this is like Jones talks about breakaway civilization shit. Yeah. I do wonder if people just like, people who have lots and lots of money are like, dude, all these problems go away if we just kill like five billion people. <laughs> so they could engage World War Three, hit the bunks, live it out, and then just be like, come out like, you know, have their like, have their ancestors come out into like totally blank slate, but I don't know if you know nuclear weapons. How's Hiroshima holding up? No, nah, I doubt great. Like I wonder if they dropped a bomb on Hiroshima just to see like how long it takes for how you to go back there and you can chill. Because that was pretty uncalled for. I mean, they were being bad boys, dude. No, for that sure. was called for. Bomb the yeah, double. Didn't they bomb another city Nagasaki, too? Nagasaki. They hit like a day later. You think they did one and were like, do it again? Do do it well, again. Like, we got another one. Fuck it. They need to get the point. 
So can you people live in Nagasaki now, right? Uh, probably. So uh, fifty years. If you if you were to be like, look, we got places we can live. We're gonna start World War Three. Let's yeah, fucking... but they'll all be dead in fifty years. People that would control. It. So maybe they're waiting for the medical technology. Oh, the transhumanism and shit. Yeah. Well, that's what they're saying. What's his face was in the. Uh, I mean, who's the fucking pedophile? Epstein. Apparently that guy. This was the New York Times. Oh, well, that's saying. why they're taking the faces off those kids, and Hillary was wearing them and dancing. Well, they said Epstein. Well, they're saying Epstein was <laughs> possibly, dude. Well, apparently they say Hillary Clinton like drinks like virgins' bloods. <laughs> she, she does face off. But apparently they're real into. There's people in Silicon Valley that do the uh, blood transfusion with mm-hmm. young people. So I'd imagine you know top politicians get in a little bit of young blood, get a little young blood young in your vein. Blood. What's up, I think young they get a little blood? young blood, dude. They said <laughs> Epstein apparently was like. He was going to get out while he was out on bail, whatever he was. He was planning on impregnating like scores of women. He was go. That was like something to he live was gonna, forever, dude. To basically like, yeah, to like, ensure a fucking his like progeny. Yeah. So there are like billionaires who get into some weird fucking shit like that. So you could, I could see them being like, we need to separate. We need to set the world. Have you ever hung out with someone who was like great, super, super rich? Yeah. They're not that chill. I, the guy I know is pretty chill. Or were they an entertainer? No. Okay. How rich are you talking? Very rich. Okay, Hunters and Mills? Yeah. Okay. Goldman Sachs. Okay. Like on the board at Goldman Sachs. Really? Pure Illuminati, dude. Whew. Elite bull, though. Does he have a bunker? No. Shit. He might. He might. He's got a house up in the Hamptons. He's got that a might bill? Be. Yeah. Has he got a billy? No, I don't think. Okay. In fact, definitely not. I never met a billionaire either. Never met a billionaire. I'm trying to think. No, definitely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> definitely not. I don't think I ever no. will. Don't think I'll ever see one, dude. <laughs> what do you think you're looking at, bro? True. What do you think you're standing at right dude. now, Billion bro? dollar baby, dude. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll be, I've, I got I got four fucking digits, bro. Billion dollar baby. Bank account. I don't know, dude. If if Yang man, if if we go, if we get away from the weird personality stuff from presidents, I think we could have a shot at just being like, all right, we're gonna collect a bunch of tax money. You guys, you want to smoke some weed or whatever weird shit you want to do, do that. We'll try to make sure no one comes and blows us up. We'll I see. think I think we gotta wait till 2024. I think we're locked into the Trump zone. Do you think Trump's going to I think do? we're locked in until 2024. Gabbard, just, people are liking Gabbard, dude. I don't even know who that is. Gabbard crushed Kamala Harris basically being like, dude, you locked up 1,500 people for smoking weed, then you're la- you're laughing about smoking weed on the breakfast club, and everyone at the rally is like, ooh. Oh, kind of crushed Kamala. That's was so like, good. Yeah, you know, and it's all bullshit. It's like, she's like, I, I was a prosecutor. <laughs> so, and then they're saying now the Russians gave Tulsi Gabbard all that information on... Uh, Kamala Harris, and <laughs> well, if you if you if your political opponent nails you, you have also the Trump card of just being like, yeah, that was the Russians. Yeah, they're colluding, man. dude. That's, it's a game, and these people aren't that smart, so that's all they have to say. Dude, then Biden's people are like, why wasn't Charlemagne on the show? And like, why didn't anyone attack Biden? It's like because he's fucking clearly senile, dude. Nobody yeah. thinks that guy's gonna win, dude. There's videos of him with Anita Hill testimony where he's like grilling her bad. Really? Yeah, dude. He's like oh, a super. You need a hill thing. Yeah, oh, boy. dude. Oh, yeah. young Biden's up there being like, slut, fuck you. Not <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, not like, so those, you were being a slut, right? Not in those words, but he was pretty brutal. There's like a tape yeah. of it. So it's like, dude, and Bi- anytime you see him up, I've watched like clips of him on the debates. He is, re- he's clearly losing his mind. Yeah. Retarded. Like that guy is, they threw him in there on a wing and a prayer and being like, people know who this guy is. They're probably like, dude, don't talk. It's gonna, it's gonna have to be Bernie, dude. He said that he's. I don't think they're not even gonna let Bernie do it. He's not gonna win. He kissed. Yeah, it's gonna have to be Elizabeth Warren. I, dude, I, I, yeah. Warren versus Trump, daddy. Well, Gabbard's not Warren. No, yeah, it'll be Elizabeth Warren. He's gonna crush her, Gabbard. He's gonna crush any of these people. Yeah, but Gabbard's. This is, this is Spud. This is a fair point. Fudd said Gabbard's like a hot young chick within her fertile years, kind of. And he was. Well, this is his point. He said she was fertile. He's talking. He's talking biological terms. He said a lot of old men. Don't like another man like being nasty to you. But then again, that wouldn't really just that wouldn't really make sense because then AOC gets kind of crushed pretty hard. No one really. Yeah, everyone's fun. pretty happy. All right, about so you it. can you can flatten that theory. Although fair <laughs> theory, I, I like it. But yeah, man, I don't know. She's suing Google right now because she's like, dude, I'm like, I'm like the number third. I, I she heard somehow they got some sort of like research stuff and found out that she was being searched a lot, but yet not popping up in search results. Dude, if you Google like Yang compilation from the the, the <laughs> uh, like compilation of Yang highlights from the the, the base. Yeah, you have to find his like username. And Nothing search comes up. His dude. uploaded videos. He doesn't come up. Gabbert now is starting to come up a little bit, but she's suing Google for that. Really? Yeah, dude. Google's, yeah, man. But I think Google's more or less just. I don't know, dude. Who knows? Again, it, look. I and my whole thing is that I can't take official stances on this because I'm again I'm Rick Moranis, dude. 
<laughs> I'm fucking, I'm lost in it. I'm in the swamp where I'm just like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. We shall see. I'm more worried about stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, what I'm on that's, right now. that's the way, no, that's nothing to do. That's, yeah. honestly, that's the way to go. I mean, I, I follow this stuff a little, but like, I mean, you, all yeah. these people suck ass. And once, it, yeah, whatever. Dude, I mean, not much I can do about it. There's nothing you can't do. It. Did you ever call your congressman? No. Like, call your congressman, and someone answers. They're like, "Uh, yeah, okay." It's not even them. They're just like, "Yeah, it's a, yeah." We're their assistant. What? Okay, cool. Thanks. Bye. Stop letting people get guns. Okay, great. Thank okay, you. sure. Thanks. Do you have bye. a billion dollars? Do you have a hundred? Mil- <laughs> yeah. Are you offering a million dollars? Because if so, then we'll listen to you. Yeah. But no, is this just a phone call? No. Well, Fuck the off. only thing you can do is like get like. A million people standing somewhere together, and then they're like, "Ah, fuck," because that's the main thing. Like, at any point, you could just—if a million people like fuck this—you could scale the White House and just totally kill everybody. <laughs> but it's like, you know, they're not gonna—no one's gonna do that because it's like, I don't want to be a terrorist. I don't wanna die. I don't be a terrorist. I'm not a terrorist guy. I'm not a fucking terrorist. Are fucking evil, dude. Terrorists but, are gay. Yeah, but it's like, dude, everyone—it's just you know, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna stop. It's not. It's not like. People, it's, I think it, I know, dude, I, I, I just talked about it for two hours. I think it's a spinning wheel, dude, to be like, and then if we do this and we need to do this and then we do this, it's like, I agree. Right, dude. It's like, I agree. Yeah. True that. I can't, again, I, again, when we started, that's all I talked about was like gender politics, all this shit. I can't, I literally stopped doing that because yeah. it's just, it's fine. And now, of course, you going to school fucking brings you right back into it. And, and with stand up, it was really fucking annoying because that's sucked, all man. that it was. Still kind of. How I is it now? People stop that. I don't deal with it. Yeah. So it's good. What about the people's material? Is it still like? Uh, I'm starting to see a, a bit of a flip back to just whatever's funny. Yeah, people trying to be see funny. people making fun of liberals. You know. Really. Yeah, but we were only seeing it at a local level of just pussies. Everybody here was just jockeying to be cool. Nobody here was trying to make a career out of stand up. Yeah, I disagree. Philly, I think a lot of people were actually. In their head, thinking that they were, and that's how you oh, do it. Oh, okay. Well, I think regardless, they were. everybody, he, like... It's not very realistic, sure. Yeah. But I think, dude, if you were to tap those guys and make your time, they wouldn't be like, I can't, they'd be like, all right. What do Everyone, you I think most people doing stand-up are deluded in some sense, thinking, like, it's going to happen for me. All I have to do is continue. Like, it's always hard for yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's, it's rare to meet somebody in stand-up that's like, no, I just do this for fun. It's very rare. It's rare. Everybody, like, I remember the first, like, couple times I wrote a set, I wrote it like I was in a theater. That's like, so when I was <laughs> writing stand-up, and I was like, pause for a, you know, <laughs> pause here for a giant applause break, keep going. Yeah. Then I got on stage, and I was like, uh, 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 Orientals? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, no one laughed. Uh, oh, shit. Uh. Yeah, but, yeah, all that shit, all that social justice shit, I don't see it in New York at all. Good. Not really. I mean, I don't know. I was up there actually, doing definitely not. I was up there it, doing you run mics. Into it in Brooklyn mics. That's and what I'm mics, saying. Mics, w- you see it. Yeah. Once you're out of open mics and into just who's good, you, that shit's irrelevant. Yeah, because I was you're in open mics. You're jockeying to have somebody like you, somebody that runs the mic like you. Chances are, it's a chick that runs the mic. Mm-hmm. So you get on stage. You're like, women are powerful. Huh? Was that good? Yeah. You know? Start calling you a friend of the room, and then all of a sudden you're like, yeah. Eh, I got it. yeah now dude. you date one of them, then she accuses you of something. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's <laughs> that's, fucking wild. That's the, li- that's, the, that's the path of an open micer. Yeah, that's man. That's the typical life cycle. Well, that's like, that could be related to one of like, you know, if you're fucking, if you're on your quest, dude, that's like a Medusa head siren thing to get sucked Local into. Local SJW. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. That's something easy. You turn you in a stone. We're like, no, these are all my friends. We all love oh, each no, other. Oh, no. Now I'm 35 and I still live here and I'm still doing that. Fuck. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like, my girlfriend and I are in an open relationship. What's going on? This is weird. <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah. yeah that's, I'm yeah. telling you, that's, well, there was a, there was some quote. I forget who said it. They're like, culture is a, uh, intelligence test and if you like fully abide by it you fail <laughs> so if you, if you like if you're in a surrounding you're like yeah this is perfect and you're like oh, okay well yeah you just tapped out mentally congratulations but it's also that's kind of what you're supposed to do on some level yeah absolutely. sorry bro i've been reading i've been following all of the dude that book all things shining is the best really it takes you through the whole thought process of like um like homer the greeks i talked about all that yeah. then they talk about how when so the, the the Hebrews were like, all right, dude, you got to fucking be, there's 10 laws, 10 commandments. If, as long as you don't break these, you're cool, no matter what. And then JC came through and was like, well, 
You got to give money to the homeless. Yeah. Exactly. Well, his whole thing was like, if you want to don't fuck, kill, don't kill me. If, if you want to fuck someone's wife, and all you think about is fucking their wife, they're like, that's kind of fucked that's up. That's bad. Don't they're like no, no, no. As long as you don't fuck their wife, and then Jesus was basically being like, no, no, no. Don't forget about the law. It's all about how you feel inside. So that's what. Yeah. It was the start of postmodernism, dude. It opened up art. Now it's like, no, you can you can interpret it yourself. Like you know what I mean? So now it's like yeah. that's spun off through thousands of years, and here we are, dude. What's that called uh, in Catholicism? I was taught like if you even think a sin, you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, geez, what that's a horrible like, intent. A sin why of would you ever even something? say that? That that it's was like, obviously you think of the worst shit. But that possible. was the JC Revolution because it was like you yeah. had these guys who were just held themselves on these rules and had everything structured. So it's like, all right, follow these rules, everything will stay exactly the same. And JC was just like. Yeah, but you also can be kind of a nice guy. Like, if I heal somebody's blind, you know, whatever the story yeah. was, they are like, then they were basically like, well, you did that, but it was Sunday and you broke the law. And he was like, yeah, but this guy can, like, walk. I think that yeah. was, like, a symbolic parable. But he'd be like, yeah, but this guy can walk. And you're crying about what? So it was Sunday, dude. Fuck you. And yeah. that, that's why they were like, all right, we're going to kill this guy. Cut this guy. We're going to kill this guy. Like, fuck this. I wonder if, like, while he was talking to a guy, a guy was, like, smiling and nodding, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like, in his head, he's like, I'm going to fucking kill this <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. I'm allowed to kill this guy. I'm, we're going to kill him. Yeah, dude. For sure. Dude, that's... uh. But they, they walk through that and all the way to, like, then it got to the point where, like, Nietzsche <laughs> stuff where it's like, you now it's like religion's Superman? dead religion's yeah. dead, and you have to fully come up with your own code, and now here we are, and, like, people being, like, in charge of their own... They're like, I don't trust the media, and like, I know what's going on. You, It's like, you don't have any idea. Yeah. No one has any idea besides what's going on in their life, and they don't have any idea about that for the most part. So my thing is like, dude, just fucking wake up, go to work, try to be nice to everybody, and then, you know, just fucking yeah. relax. Try not to watch the news. Yeah, try not to get in a political argument with your friends. Yeah, dude, if you can. If you can help it. that shit's useless. It sucks. Yeah. So, either way. But, he, yeah, so that was like... There, that, my, but I'm a big solution head, dude. So my head, it's like, what is the what is the way out of this, dude? You're gonna get, there's gonna be a soundbite of you doing all the things that you are. <laughs> You're like Alex Jones with that shit, where he's like, "I'm a fighter, I'm a Texan, well, I'm, I'm a, a man, I'm a solution, dude." I mean, I, I'm not gonna say I'm Apo, uh, Apo, uh, Apollonian again, dude. But like, You're I am. Very, You're very Apollonian. I, I mean, it is what it is, dude. I'm an INFP. It's like one percent of the world. It's no big deal. But like, I mean, either way, You're but, special. One percent. You believe you're special. High, I have high arches. That's one percent of the population. Green you're eyes. Very one percent of, of the population. Very rare. I mean, I'm not bragging. Dude. No, no, I don't, I don't very think you're bragging. Rare. I think it's a nice I, thing I to didn't believe. Want to be. I think it's nice for humans to believe that they're special like that. Well, statistically, I am, but I, I don't want it's to nice. brag about it. High arches. That's a very low percentage. Green eyes. Low percentage. INFP. Even lower. I, but again, I don't. I'd rather be an everyman, dude. I'd rather be a common man. That's the that I think is your biggest dilemma. What you just wish you were a fucking everyman, but instead you're just this unicorn. I'm trying to dissolve into the fucking fabric a, of society, you bro. You wish you were a fucking donkey, but instead you're a fucking stallion. You're a <laughs> unicorn, dude. You wish you were in the mud like a dirty mule. Or I'm just a dirty mule with like my head, I'm like with like a, a head injury. I think and I'm, that's like, what I'm it a is. unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I think it could be one of those. I read could about be. five pages of Blood Meridian this week. That was pretty good. Really? Yeah, we're getting there. At this rate, I'll finish it in 2038. Nah, you'll, you'll rip through it. You'll, it I know, I know. It'll I hook into you eventually. Actually, just I refinished. I put, I'm putting out a second edition of my book. Nice. Fixed all the typos. Went Keep through. the typos in, bro. No, 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 no. Well, that's, yeah. they'll be in first edition. Fixed all the typos, made the font bigger, so a little easier on the eyes. Nice. Yeah, those, that also, font was minuscule. Well, I wanted to make it as cheap as possible for people. <laughs> so I like thought I was hooking people up by making it yeah. super cheap. Every other book on Amazon is 10 bucks. Yeah. I make literally 50 cents on every book. So I, I you know, whatever. I, I've made... Thirteen dollars from Kindle royalty since I fucking did it. It's yes. Three years of my life, no yes. big deal. Fucking <laughs> yes. I don't even care about that. I like I know people. You don't. I like the people to read it and be like, "That's awesome." Which people have been saying, but I'm going through it and I'm like, "Dude, there are so many fucking tight." I was, I'm embarrassed. I'm like, "This is horrible." So I fixed it, tweaked the ending too. I uh -oh. finally, finally came through and was like, Second edition is a different ending now." Slightly, well, it okay. ends a similar. It ends the same for the most part, but there's a final climax of one of the people that I I feel like I, I just like got to the end of it. It was like my tenth time writing it. And I'm like, Fuck this it. is just when it has to be. Finally figured it out. It came full circle. I was like, oh, I'm excited about that. Nice. And then you know put it out. So I'm done. Overlook done with that. is done. It's done. But someone's gonna do cover art. So it's out now in the same cover. Yeah. So there's like a two <laughs> cover is so funny. Dude, people made fun of me. It's a Google yeah. image cover. It's highly this. pixelated. Sorry about that. <laughs> Fucking you know I I was gonna spend money on a cover artist. Now I have someone. I'm going to pay someone to do a little bit of cover art. Someone nice. from the Reddit. So they're going to do cover art. So there'll be a second edition. It's, it's fixed now, technically. That's tight. But the second edition cover will be out. So I'm excited. I'm going to start another book after that. V tight. Yeah, bro. I'm going to. I'm going to start. I'm going to. 
this will help me too because I'll take it away from the my uh, my hallucinogenics book. I think is going to cover a lot of the stuff. Hallucinogenics book is going to be great. Psychedelics for squares, dude. Can't Beginner's wait. guide to the eth- eth- ethnogenic or ethnogenic arts. That'll be a fucking. I mean, that's a hit. <laughs> That's a fucking Teaming home, up with a psychiatrist. That's a guarantee. Teaming up with a psychologist, dude, from nice. Canada. It's no big deal, yeah. From Canada? Yeah, it's one of these. Oh. He's a the dude I did the Patreon stuff with. Are you going to manhood it out at all? I, I might. Is there a mention of manhood in this book or, or no? On Oh, no, you don't, need to, you don't need to rock a manhood. I recommend Would it. Would a manhood I, help? Yeah, for sure. A hallucinogenic voyage? I think I personally feel a little more secure when I have a manhood on. Okay. So I don't see why it would hurt. So we'll see, dude. But I got, dude, I got my sleep tent set up. So I'm, I have. I've been inside. I've been, well, I, did you see my blackout board? Tent. You told I me about custom the cut. Board. I custom cut a big blackout board, <laughs> dude. It's literally, it's it's pure darkness. That's incredible. I'm in there at nighttime. I literally, I went. I was like actually really tired the one night, and uh, Brittany was down with her friends, and I was like, all right, you guys do your thing. Brittany, come get me. I laid in this thing, dude. It's like when you hit pure darkness. And you go to sleep, it feels like you're just like literally being separated out of your body. You're just like, oh my god, you just yeah. f- like you just pass out. That's dude, so it's nice, crazy. She came and woke me up, and I was like, oh. So yeah, man, I got the full sleep tent set up. I'm fully done the first book. I'm free from propaganda, dude. Fully independent. Are you? I think so, dude. I think so. That's what everyone thinks. No one's free. I Come mean, on, at least be, I never recite a media thing as fact. I always say this is what I saw. Up to you, you have to take it in the way you don't. I, I don't ever take yeah. it. I try not to, at least. Yeah. Which is bad. We're creating. We're creating towards something, dude. The fact that like you can't really trust the media. You can't be. You can't say a bad thing about the government, but you also there's a bunch of weird conspiracies that make it like really dumb to do that. It's like. We're in a bad spot. We're in a tough spot. It's a weird spot for sure. You can definitely say bad things about this government. That's true, but it's but not about the operate the day to day operations. You can't like you can say Trump's government is the you most can evil say thing Trump in the is world. Hitler. But if you say the government set up a thing and then you know maybe maybe fucking did some yeah sort well of if you thing. yeah if you say the government did Sandy Hook if you said Trump did Sandy Hook people would be like fuck yeah. <laughs> Bush, why did Bush knock down the towers? I mean, dude, that, that was, was a be... Jadakiss song. I know, <laughs> I know. So, well, whatever, dude, it's no, it's no big deal. I, people are just trying to live their lives, man. You know, yeah. Watch, watch that, watch that Fox News. You'll like it. I mean, I would love it. I mean, you you already know this, but it's just the news is entertainment. See, yeah. like that's where I think you and I have a like. I don't think it's as you know, calculated and manipulate, like it's clearly manipulative, but I don't think it's like this, like, I mean, I don't think it's a global collective thing. I, I think, think it's very easy. Like Roger Ailes at one point calls Dick Cheney cause they were being that while they were in the office, they were being dickheads. And Roger Ailes was like, do you want to invade Iraq? Cause I can make that happen or I can make that not happen. So you guys better start fucking treating us with some respect. Yeah. And he was like, all right, we'll do whatever you say. The, the Fox us- guy said that. Yeah, Dick Cheney was like, "Yeah, we're going to invade Iraq, so let us." And Fox News was like, "Okay, what the how they get this on the phone?" It's fake. It's not. It's oh. it's. I mean, it's they're an fuck, alleged. They're fucking around. It's an it? alleged phone call. Yeah. Roger Ailes was pissed at that administration. He was like, "Let me talk to fucking Dick Cheney right now." I mean, which makes sense. Roger Ailes controlled half the country. He yeah. controlled Fox News. He controlled the entire Republican base every day. Yeah, and you're saying that's immune to being tweaked by business interests and political interests? No, that's exactly what it is. Okay. But I don't think it's this, like, Illuminati, satanic fucking no, no, any no. of that. I think For it's sure. just clearly just like, hey, we're, we need to make more money. Don't yeah. fuck with us again. If you guys want to do something, I control what everyone thinks. So don't yeah. fucking, don't fuck with me. So how does that not bleed into, a, like, Illuminati conspiracy land? It's not Illuminati. It's just Not the Illuminati. Men. It's just That's dudes. what the fucking people who believe in the Illuminati think the Illuminati is. You're no, they think there's some the sort Illum- of satanic cult with dudes in hoods and candles That's and shit. That's the newest morph of it. The Illuminati is exactly what you just described. And that's what I've called the Illuminati since we started talking about it. I'm not saying you've been like, Shane, I would never CEOs. say you don't believe in the Illuminati. I know no, you no, believe no. in the Illuminati. It's just dudes that are the CEO. It's not some dastardly, like, oh, the Rothschilds are dude. It's just like, here's the most rich people, and they're going to try to stay rich. Yeah. It's it's exactly. Not like, it's not yeah. like they're like, oh, let's set up Sandy Hook. <laughs> Okay, but what do they do to stay, you know, to keep a billion dollars, a billion dollars, and make sure people don't, like, fuck with your things that are keeping all the money come up? You have to do things. Like, if you have tons of your hands in all kinds of... I don't think we're going to disagree on anything, If you have your hands in a bunch of foreign interests, 
and you're just like pulling in money here and there, and all of a sudden some guy uprises in the country, you call Fox and go like, yo, dude, I don't like this new leader here. Sure. Blah, blah, blah. If you can pull that off, which I think people can and have, yeah. that is the stuff of the Illuminati. Now, exactly. The, now, the new thing about like san- uh, satanic corpse, you Does know. Does that mean they're doing I don't, school shootings and shooting up I, movie theaters? I doubt it. I doubt it too. I I, yeah. I I agree with that. But now, does that mean they're not putting? They're not doing coups in fucking Panama? Sure, they are doing that. Do you? Th- but you, maybe they're funding like weird fringe political groups to like maybe be like agent provocateurs at other people's rallies. Like, yeah, I think they do that as well. Sure. So where does it stop? That's the thing. That's that's where I'm like, I don't know. You know, I don't know where the line where the line would be for someone who would go disrupt like the food in a third world country. Yeah. And it's like totally cool with basically having slaves is going to be like, well, we're not going to fucking like, you know, we're not going to kill kids. It's like, that's where I'm like, it's plausible, but it's also so hard to have a massive, the, the other where it stops is like to have a massive organization that's constantly shooting up malls and schools. <laughs> yeah. That's impossible to pull off. Yeah. I th- I think that's kind of. And like be, I said, I think they would have been like, all right, let's, we got to come up with something different. Exactly. The school shooting's not working. People are they catching still are like, People are on to us. People know yeah. we set this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of nervous about this now. Yeah. So we've done 50 of them. Yeah. I mean, that's, well, that's a scary thing to think about. If there's people who could stay the course and be like, hold, they'll eventually fucking yeah, break. Yeah, just dude. a few more shootings and they'll give us their guns. And then what? Yeah. I mean, that would be the most. Epic, I told you so, dude. If you're like, all right, fine, enough school shootings, here's our guns, like social credit system, God, we're like, ah, f- God damn it, <laughs> fucking told you. Yeah, that would, but again, I don't think it's like Fox that. News just I don't blips think it's out like, on your we TV. We need to take their guns so we can enslave them. It's no, like, I don't think so. No, we're, we, we're just trying to make the news entertaining. Yeah. So we're going to stir up controversies and conspiracies nonstop so that people are watching and yeah. we can sell advertisement. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's, it's, it's it is weird to even get like I don't care about guns. I don't really give a fuck about them. I think they're cool. I can't. Last time I had a like I was shooting a gun. I was walking down the parking lot. I dropped it accidentally, so I shouldn't have one. <laughs> like I definitely can't have one. What? I don't. Yeah, I went fucking shooting. I dropped a gun, dude. Whatever, it's no big deal. But the fucking I got Damn. made fun of. This sucked, dude. Oh, I feel like such a bitch, that dude. Does suck. Fucking Where were girlfriend you? picked it up. Oh, she was like, "What are you doing with that? Let me hold it." I'm like, "No, fucking, I can hold it." I was like, "I can hold it. Shut up. I can you walk." Dropped it. Dropped on the way out, dude. I was, wasn't even paying attention. Literally like a dog. I just, my hand released, and I was like, oh, shit, I was holding a gun. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, there's like... They need to... The government needs to take your guns away. They f- for sure do. For I should sure. Well, they literally did, because I have a medical card. I'm not allowed to have a gun. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, like, if you have a... You're, although it's a get constitutionally, I could make a case and go... There's like... I talked to a gun store guy. When I was shooting, I was like, what's the deal with that? He was like, hey, man, anyone's right to bear a gun. So, like, they'll sell you a gun, but you're technically not allowed to. <laughs> whatever some weird and it was a loophole for the same base really to be like yeah. these people if weed can't have guns can they and they're like we won't give them guns and you go in a gun store and like we won't take your constitutional right dude you can have <laughs> yeah, a gun yeah, it's like yeah, what the yeah, fuck yeah. but yeah dude we, it, it, it'd be like we need more AR-15 we need people to have AR-15s as a bad but dude it, it'll I'll get so that's where I start to get propagandized I'm like why can't I have a fucking AR-15 and in my head I'm like oh, I don't have it I don't need a gun yeah, I'm like I like walk with my kitchen knives. I'm like careful, <laughs> careful. <laughs> yeah, so, I, yeah. It'd be cool to have an AR-15. It'd be fucking cool to have, but yeah. I would want it. Yeah, it'd be awesome. But it's also, dude, <laughs> imagine the fucking being the dudes who sell guns and you see school shootings and you're just like, we got to spin this, dude. That's a whole. That's the thing no one else talks about. No, everyone's talking the, about the NRA. Yeah, but I'm saying if you're like a hardcore conspiracy theorist, why would you think the NRA? wasn't being like, I'm pretty sure fucking someone set these school shootings up. If you throw that out in the river, it's like, Matt, that's a whole other part. They could fully be like, dude, you don't, you don't want the, you don't want this country taking your guns, dude? What are you, a fucking pussy? And you're like, yeah, dude, I'm not a pussy. I want yeah. guns. Because the, the fucking sa- the sales uh, skyrocket. Yeah, I heard Everyone that. gets scared that like they're going to take, like, oh, this is the one, they're going to take them, and that fucking gun sell. So that. if you really want to get into conspiracy land, it's like, I, I think mean, the NRA is that's setting an up e- That's an evil shootings. one. I mean, they're too Christian. Apparently, they wouldn't. But or dude, do you think retards are shooting up schools? Retards are shooting up schools, and the NRA's like, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jackpot. Yes. Yes. I don't know. Maybe they do sell enough guns, like the dictators and stuff. It's weird, dude. We live in a, <laughs> know, where are we at? We live in a fucked up world. 143, 34. 133, 40, 34. You done, bro. I'm clocking out, bro. What, what's got your goose, dude? Nothing's got my goose. <laughs> I know. It's pretty. It's just shit, I don't really. 
What do you care about? Uh, Jesus Christ. Talk to me, dude. What do you care about? Nothing. I just like the conspiracy stuff. I did like. It's not. It's not a. It's not. It's not a. Uh, it's not a very. Yeah. Well, it, I think you should. You can talk about conspiracy stuff. I'm talking about conspiracy stuff on a meta level. Yeah, I was trying to talk about a guy getting smashed by a car. Yeah, I talked about it. I was making fun of his death, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't having it. Why? You can't make fun of this man's death. What's the point of talking about a guy crashing at a mud track? No, of if course you can't I made fun laugh? of it. I said he went to Valhalla and I shotgunned a beer right Me after. Me too. Yeah. But I'm t- you're talking on the cast. I, would, I was all for talking about this guy dying. Yeah. Love it. But what happened? Nothing. We talked about... Uh, Give me something, dude. School shootings being set up. Q being run by the Republicans. Possibly, dude. Possibly. Possibly. Why? No, why I'm, not, I'm not upset. This is all good. I'm not upset either. Yeah, this is all good. It's just been... It's long. It is long. Love talking, dude. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just... Uh, I'm a little gassed, bro. I told you that fucking fiesta. It's two you. days ago, and it's still fucking... I hear you. Hitting me. I just... I want to know. I, I feel like... I want to I want to dig deeper into you, dude. I want to know. I was talking to I was talking to. I want to know what's going on with you, dude. I was talking to uh, Bonnie McFarlane about our interaction grid. She and I have an interaction grid where What'd we you say? where we argue like we bully each other. Where you trash each other? Yeah, and I was like, we got to get out of this. We do this every time we see each other. Need to get out of this. What'd you say? She's fine. I mean, we laughed. Yeah, dude. Why were I hope our I hope our fucking interaction doesn't devolve into fucking uh. Just the same old bullshit. That's what I try to not have <laughs> yeah, it be. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, try yeah. to have it not be that every week, but it's like no, this this was good. Everything was good. I think it was fine. I mean, it's you know, it's just a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in my head, it's like, it, it, it. I don't know. I mean, again, it, I try to read the news, and I get like four minutes into it. I'm like, this sucks so yeah, bad. The news is but it's also, dude, again with like Bezos, he cheated on his wife, and like, dude, literally the day after. And if you don't know, he owns the he fucking Washington Post. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The top story was like Trump basically my the whole thing that the reason that my affair came out he like blamed it on Trump. And it's like, dude, that was I'm watching that. I'm like, all right, that's pretty fucking weird, dude. It's like you just got caught cheating, dude. Take it, take it yeah. on the chin. It's like it has nothing to do with Trump. You I guess fucking- I, I don't know how to explain it as as far as like these conspiracies and things not being that difficult to just to be like, yeah, that's true. Like he controls the paper. Yeah, he's gonna do that for sure. This isn't like, you know, you know what I mean. But how far will he go? That's the question, dude. <sighs> that's Well, that's all Where do a billionaire? Man. When does a billionaire go? Like, I mean, there's obviously some like Wayne Enterprises out there who are like, no. Yeah. And then someone obviously kills them. Yeah, basically, the Kennedys are basically, shit. the Kennedys were Wayne Enterprises. Yeah, they got fucked they up. They got Wayne parent treatment. They dude. got Did another around. Kennedy just die? Probably. Yeah, I think another Kennedy. Like, Didn't the gr- Ted Kennedy just die of brain cancer? I think so. I think a girl, like a girl. Did can- he die young- yet? I don't know. A young, gr- a young girl Kennedy just died. I saw it in the hospital the other day. You sure Teddy Kennedy didn't just die? I mean, it's a safe bet. And dude. they also just came out with that movie about him killing that lady. Oh, yeah. The, the hooker? <laughs> bad timing. Hold on. Well, a girl. Is Ted Kennedy fucking dead? I don't know. Young, yes, he like, has to be. Ooh. Yeah, he uh, was. Yeah. <laughs> a young a young Kennedy girl just died. They're like, oh ah, God, God, I'm a retard. Ted what? Kennedy died in fucking 2009. Okay, he's been dead. <laughs> he's been dead. What? Dude, Google Kennedy death. I think a girl, like a granddaughter, just died. No, wait a second. A youngster. That was just how long he was in office. Oh. Unless he died in office. Wait, did they say he was yeah, dead? Yeah, he died in 2009. Like, dude, he's been I'm de- a fucking retard. He was dead between fucking 2009 and 2014. He dude. died <laughs> 10 years ago. And I'm like, is he going? Dude. Yeah, he just, and then they released that movie about him fucking killing a whore. Yeah, that's a and bad. Chapa Quiddick. That's a bad look, dude. Yeah, man. Serezi Kennedy dead. What happened to her? The grand the granddaughter of Robert Kennedy found dead at family compound. Oh boy. What'd she do? Uh, suicide. She suicided. Wait. What do you think about death? Yeah, granddaughter of Robert Kennedy found dead. Apparently, she had an attempt earlier. And then I guess pulled it off. What do you think about uh, Epstein? Definitely going to be suicided here shortly. What the fact that they found him, like, dude. First of all, he's, first of he's all, about to get suicided. First of all, R. So Kelly's hard. missing, dude. <laughs> what the fuck what? is going? What is, R. Kelly's missing? Kells is missing. Kells is missing, dude. He was he con aired, and he got away. What? Yeah, dude. R. Kelly got away. That reminds me. I do want to say this. I want to be on the record. Drake. Sure. Drake's going to be. He's on that R. Kelly tip. Do you think so? Drizzy Drake likes him young. What? He does. It's somewhat known already, but it, 
this is one of those things where I want to, you know, you got to say something. Like, remember Louis, that whole thing? Yeah. And, like, we knew about that. Yeah. And we were just like, I don't know. Drake, Jersey Drake's into the young ones. He's going to get got in the next five years. Oh. Unfortunately. Love me some Jersey Drake, dude. Dude. A drunk texted uh, Birdman (laughs) when I was fucked up. He gave you the gossip? Then he hit me the, what's up, homeboy, the next day. I haven't had the heart to reply. So, So you're getting good info that he's fucking... Birdman did not supply me with that info. Mm-mm. It's just a separate story. Separate breaking Oh, never news. accused the Birdman. Separate of on the ticker. Also on the ticker. <laughs> uh, drunk drunk texted Birdman. He replied. I didn't reply because I'm ashamed. What? Yeah, bro. Trump texted the Birdman? <laughs> no. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck's going on? Drunk texted. Oh, I got gotcha, hammered gotcha, and gotcha. I was like, dude, let's see if Birdman will FaceTime us. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Damn, yeah. dude! Can't so believe I fucking chipped a tooth. Though. You're calling for people to fight. You're calling for people to take him down, dude. Drizzy Drake? Yeah. Nah, I love Drake. Really? Would hate to see him. You I, would defend. I like Drake. Better ass. But how young? I don't think he's a pedophile. He just, just like, likes young girls. Okay, how young? Again. Post pedophile, like seventeen. Ah, dude, that's called a pedophile, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> it's le- like it's not a pedophile. <laughs> pedophile is like pre pubescent. Pedophile is okay. Yeah. You got the guy with that itch. You don't think he's think maybe he's on, going to Thailand and being like, Kells. whoa, I didn't know. I think he's on that Kells tip. The Kells one's like 13, 12. All right. Well, that's a little young. Kells dated Aaliyah, bro. Kells is a little young. You are, you're, so you're telling me Drake is fucking JoJo Siwa? <laughs> I think Drake is. <laughs> is JoJo Siwa is like an eight year old pop sensation. <laughs> um, I, think he likes, I think Jersey Drake likes him young. Youngsters. Right around that. So you're allowed to fuck at seven? What's the point of 18? Why does everyone. I just picked that does number. Does he think he like does his tour and like how I think they, they had like screenshots of him coming like, back to Texas again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A very specific date. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's just well, even, like Texas. Girl's I think birthday. Texas sixteen is Texas like, is young, dude. Yeah, Texas is like whatever. I'm young down there. Speaking <laughs> of, I'll be in Texas at the end of this month. And these seventeen yeah. year olds want to come out to my shows. So, dude, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, I have a good theory on Jersey Drake. He's getting brought brought down, bro. You think so? No doubt. That's a, that's gonna be a big one. It's gonna oh. be a sad day, dude. You think so? I'm mean, sad on that one. I mean, if he goes a full R. Kelly route, I think he's you going think R. Kelly Kels. disappeared and talked to Jersey. He I think, vanished, dude. He vanished. R. Kelly evaded the authorities. Kells is gonna be like, you know, at the end of Star <clears throat> Wars when Luke <laughs> sees those ghosts. Drake's gonna be at a concert, and there's gonna be like a hologram Cosby, a hologram fucking Kells. Jackson. Louis will be jerking off as sure. a ghost. Jackson, too. Jackson will be in there. Just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, J- Drizzy's going to... I don't know. Do you have any other pedophiles, you think? No, dude, I don't... I don't. I Do you mean, have anybody you'd like to allege? Uh, No, man. I, I can't think of anyone that I think's a pedophile besides Drake. Now I'm pretty <laughs> fucking sure about that, but... He has a <clears> song <throat> with... I don't know. He has, like, songs that people think are about... This chick named Georgia. I forget how fucking young she is. Well, he married a porn star. Or not he married. He, he didn't he, he like impregnated like a stripper or a porn star, yeah. There was he a was French a porn star. Her. That's yeah, that was the one they made fun of him for. The pusher T made fun of him for. So So this chick's twenty two. She was born in ninety seven and Drake was Drake was like in like sixteen so like four years ago he was talking to her. Wait, what? She's 22 now. <clears throat> he was talking to her four She years just ago? turned 22. He was talking to her. Yeah, they had like a song together uh, in, in 2016. I th- dude, I think also, too, he came up in like child star stuff. So I think it's like you come up on a different world with that shit. Yeah, he had. It's like, dude, if you're a child star, you definitely have like 30 year old ladies blowing you and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if you're a celebrity and a kid, that's celebrity mojo. Like a girl's not going to not suck your dick because you're like yeah. 14. She's done it. She's gonna do it. So, damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, definitely getting hit. He's had some weird experiences. For child sure. star. Yeah, you you gotta remember that. Corey Fell. All those dudes. He man. is coming off child star. And now all of a sudden he's like a hardcore rapper. Which is yeah. Post child. Yeah. Post child star. Weird times. Drake's got to be going through a lot of weird. Yeah, you really don't think about how fucked up and weird that guy must be. I mean, dude, it's got to be. Meanwhile, Kanye West is still the best. Killing it. Kanye dude. came up. Traditional, as far as rappers are concerned, yeah, you know, Chicago gang, gangland, all that. Yep. Now he's retarded. He got yep. hit with the bug. 
<laughs> you got bit bad. <laughs> yeah, um, but the child star shit's out of this world. So yeah, yeah, if you're a child star, you're guaranteed. You might have got head too young, dude. That can happen if you get. I mean, that's. I mean, yeah, that's actually. That's like getting sexually assaulted as a youth, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that so leads to child some star bad getting behavior. Head too young. Yeah. Leads to you doing collabs with JoJo C. Hot seventeen-year-olds. Yeah, that's... and then he had like a diss track about her. <laughs> on the next CD Really? He was like You could have been something I could have made you I could have molded you Into something great He never names who it is But everyone's like That's who it's about For sure What? Yeah some hot ass British chick named Georgia With a J He could have made Georgia great? He could have made Georgia great again But she decided <laughs> To pick someone else Who'd she go instead with? Instead of Drizzy Drake I don't Nelly? know Somebody that does the same thing as him she And he just him laughs for- He just laughs at him He's like, <laughs> You guys aren't even close that's even close to me, dude. Close to what I'm doing. I fuck so many 17 year I fuck so many. I'm telling you, Drake's on that Arkells. Oh, man. When he goes down, that'll be tough. Dude, I'll be sad. guess what his fucking produced? Guess what show he produced? Yeah, Euphoria. Euphoria, dude. Yeah, he produced oh. Euphoria. Oh. Yeah, man. Dude, you are rifling through it's the air. You are rifling through the air, dude. Tip of the Drizzy Spear right yeah, now. Yeah, man. Unfortunately. Yeah, you didn't want to be. When I looked this. up who that, because I was listening to this song, and I was like, who the fuck is this about? I looked it up, and I was like, he must have wrote this song in 2016. Like, she just turned 22. <laughs> Sorry. Year, I'm so like, happy. I'm like, what is going on with you? And you're like, well, Drake's a pedophile. That's yeah. what I'm dealing with. I'll tell right you what I, what's going on with me. No, I don't like talking about, I don't like talking about what I'm you're doing. Not, you're it not It makes wrong. me feel gay. Why? I don't know. You it's, have to, man. All right. So I just went home because August. No, I'm, I'm, I wasn't credit. I think, that's what, I think that was genuinely what was going on with you. That, that was, oh, no. I just remembered I wanted to bring that up to the cast. No, that's exactly it. On record that. That's why I asked the question. It was ultimately, the cast was all over it. It was ultimately fruitful. That's why I was like, what are you thinking about right now? I'm like, well, Drake's <laughs> a pedophile. I'm like, there we go. Yeah, now we're fucking news. talking. Here's some news. Um, no, just gay traveling. Got a lot of fucking gay traveling coming up. Now I got to fly. I was supposed to go. Uh, I got to leave for Phoenix the 8th. 8th, 9th, and 10th, I'll be in Phoenix. And then I was going to go to L.A. Mm-hmm. on the 11th, but now I have to fly back to New York on the 11th to film something and then fly to L.A. So I got to go New York, Phoenix, New York, L.A. That is tiring, In like dude. four days. Yeah, and I, I used to be the f- biggest person to be like, dude, actors should get paid like 14 bucks an hour. It's pretty easy. If you're crossing multiple time zones and doing all that shit, it yeah. fucks you up, dude. Yeah, it so that'll really be fucks you exhausting. Up. And I was like, I'll just go home and rest a few days. I ended up blacking out. Hilarious. <laughs> it's <was> retarded. <laughs> I was like, this will be a nice trip home. I'll just hang out. Went to the dirt track, blacked out. Obviously. Balled out. Man, guy died. Guy dude. fucking no got smashed. <laughs> Fuck, man. We were talking about like his, his day. How weird is that that that's how you, like, you just die? You know what I mean? Like that yeah. guy had a normal day. Yeah. Guy went about. I wonder if there was a moment where he was just like, something's weird. He fell it off. Just, yeah, like you just feel like, oh, this is my last day on earth. And you just keep, like he probably like was complaining about coffee, you know. Could be. Just like, this goddamn neighborhood's a piece of shit. <laughs> Can't well, wait was, to see the race tonight. Like, people who believe in like ghosts and shit, are, like, one of the big things is like when a ghost is near you, you get goosebumps. That's also yeah. like what your central nervous system does when it's scared. Like you get your, sta- your hair stand on edge when you're scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, yeah. It's, I wonder, but then that guy just goes through his day. And he's standing on the bed of a truck, watching, whew, watching the sun go down over beautiful Mechanicsburg, just a glorious night. And then that forty-three car flips over. I mean, dude, you got one second to be like, "Car." <laughs> he couldn't move. Smashed. That guy was frozen. I, I mean, those Plus, life are, his life probably flashed before his eyes too. Yeah, his life flashed of just him standing at a dirt track every night. That was his life. Just like, whoo, I mean, every dude, day, every it's day. It's still terrifying to think about, like, if you die after you're dead and you're just like, oh, fuck, I'm dead. It's got to be terrifying, dude. What? If Being you die like, after you're dead? If you're really oh, alive after, after you die, you're, dead, you're just like, If you don't uh-oh. just completely black out, if you're just like, and you're like what the fuck? That would be <laughs> you float up, you're horrifying, like, dude. Look at the stadium. <laughs> you just fly away. You're just trapped on Earth forever, just like, hey, there you go. <laughs> I haunt Williams Grove now. That's a good. That's a good place to haunt, though. Name wise, for sure, for sure. Speaky, spooky Williams Grove. Yeah, I'm. You'd be hanging out with a bunch of racers, though. A bunch of dudes have been fucking killed there. That'd be a good place to ghost, for sure. To yep. be a ghost, Williams Grove would be kind of crowded, though, dude. That's like the mall of ghosts. There's a lot of ghosts You're there, like, but they're all the exact same. They're all wearing jumpsuits. <laughs> it's like, hey, took that turn a little too sharp, man. Just watch people laugh, like, yeah, oh, someone fucking died in their <laughs> yeah. track. Hey, hey, have some respect. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy just standing there. A car flips, flies right at you. Yeah, I think about that a lot, about my death, dude. And then me and Beezer are standing on the fence like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> guy fucking died. We're like, hurry up and chug that. <laughs> That's because it's, go. it's not sacred to you guys. Was that not. is not sacred to you guys. A man died at the dirt track, and you guys are fucking around. <laughs> I saw a little saw a little kid crying and hugging his mom, and I was like, ooh, this is sad. Sadder than I thought. Yeah, dude. I was reverent. So was grandpa died. I was reverent. How was the bees? Was the bees on his best behavior? About the None day? of us were really that. <laughs> we weren't that reverent. As soon as we got out in the in the grass parking lot, we started getting fucked up. Yeah, but imagine that, dude. You're, there's people there. And then we were, just went out. You know? Oh, for sure. We're just like, whatever. We got to fucking go Didn't affect us. Can't live in That's crazy. It's just funny to just be like, oh, fuck, a guy got smashed by a car. Anyway, let's go to, let's go try to get some pussy. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, that's where we're at now. Literally. I and mean, it's not, it's no fault. I'm, I'm the same way. I would be like, that's fucking hilarious. But to think about that, you're out, someone dies, you're just like, whoa. Oh, whoa. Holy fuck. What else are we going to do? Oh, let's go somewhere else. I'm bored. This is B, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude? it was funny. The announcer had to come on and be like, and, uh, that is the end of the race. He knew he died. Everybody, we're going to have to get out of here due to the severity of the wreck. Oh, That's it. The race is over. Dude, the Good driver night. killed an old man, too. Think about that. Flipped. You're better. Dude, imagine being like, fuck. That guy was you probably quit? like, let's go to a fucking brew house. <laughs> let's go get fucked up. <laughs> fuck that guy. Do you quit or do you like stay on the track? Like, you, I, I'd imagine you have to like, just dirt track etiquette. You got to go like... Like address the person's family, you gotta knock up and be like, "Hey, man, I'm the driver that took out your grandpa. I owe everybody." Like, took out your paw. Took out your paw. Your papa. Your paw was at the track. Got hit with a car. I mean, again, though, '67. He was hanging out at the dirt track. That's how he wanted. That's exactly how he wanted to go. I mean, you'd yeah. have to imagine. I, I could. I kind of wouldn't mind going that way. Six, at '67. Some fucking no. If I'm just standing on the sidelines at like a Notre Dame game, ball just takes you. Seventy year old. You know, quarterback leads the wide out. <laughs> quarterback leads the wide out a little too far. I get fucking lit up and explode. Yeah, and then like a bunch of kids just are like, oh, they just go get <laughs> hammered at night. Like, Holy fuck, you see that guy get fucking, fucking killed? died, dude. Holy fuck. Yeah, Some man. idiot died. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. It's going to be fun. It'll be funny to watch people, and eh, maybe it won't even be a big thing, but people our age hit like the age where like we're grappling with our own death. It's going to be pretty funny to watch people. Yeah. To ironically be like, oh, I'm like dying right now. Oh, all those, oh my God. Well, all that shit will start going out the window. All the you fucking so? people that are, all the, yeah, the irony, all the ironic like hipster. Once they start to die? Gay shit. No, once they have a fucking family. Mm. That shit gets cut out. I don't think so, dude. I see, I've seen people talk about like dadding and momming and like adulting while, with kids and it's like. <laughs> oh, they're going to have to die and. Yeah, <laughs> have a tough time dying. This is the worst part of adulting. Oh man, dude. hashtag fucking dying right now. <laughs> I can't believe I'm dying. <laughs> dying, yeah, dying's gay. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, I don't know. Cancer's nice. If you want to get like a nice run on social media to make a comeback, that's a fucking heavy stream of likes. Oh, I still haven't dipped. What? Still haven't dipped. Nice. Have not thrown in a dip. Whoa, that's fucking sick. It's How's tough. Facebook, it dude? Sucks, dude. What's I- Facebook like now? It's gay. Oh, sorry, go, go ahead. So you're not, you're off. Not the, yeah. dipping sucks, dude. I'm trying to dip. Like I, really? I literally like woke up this morning in the shower and I was like, I can't wait to throw it. Oh fuck, I can't dip. You think be, like, I literally think, think about it for the rest it like of your that. life like that. I don't think because I'll start dipping again. Really? <laughs> if that persists, if well, every they, day, they talk about every day, I wake up and I'm like, damn, I wish I could dip. True. I'll probably just dip. Yeah, they talk about that, how, like, the methods of sobriety that are just guys like, don't get high, don't get high, don't get high. They're like, ultimately, they're like, dude. You're going to get high. Guess what, bro? You're the gonna... gum helps. I got the gum. <laughs> Good. And plus, I spent enough money on it. I'm not going to fuck it up. Well, can't you get, it's like. That's thing that helps. Isn't there an. This fucking box of gum was 80 bucks. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. You got to at least use that up. Can't they get, like, kind of, like, nicotine? I don't understand how, I can like, get a jewel. I can do a lot of shit. Can you get cleaner nicotine that doesn't give you cancer? You, you should start... I don't think it's the nicotine. So what I think is it's it? all the chemicals in the? I mean, I'm sure nicotine gives you tobacco or cancer. I mean, but yeah, that's I think true. all the other, all the fucking rat shit. But I'm chemicals. saying, like, dude, they they smoke. There's like the other types of nicotine. They like the shaman smoke, uh, whatever. It's like a different strain of it or whatever. Yeah. I mean, dude, that's like people have been smoking that forever. So it's like, why, can you get your hands on some like cleaner nicotine and yeah, chew it? Could. Some cleaner tobacco. That's what this is. This is nicotine or cleaner tobacco. There are like different types of dip. Yeah. That are like there's like a nicotine like. 
tobacco free dip type thing. I mean, that's what this gum is. You chew it and put it in your lip. Yeah, so why don't you just take the nick? You you like the juice of like sucking and spitting and all that stuff. I love sucking juice out. I love sucking and spitting, dude. I love sucking and spitting. Makes me feel good. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I got addicted to it, so I like it. But the ritual, you like the ritual well, of it. Well, yeah, you love, I mean, that's what fucking addiction is, where it's like, it's not, it's not like this fucking like, oh, I gotta fucking have it. For sure, it. yeah, for sure. It's like, damn, I should throw in a dip. Yeah. Like, it's it's that. Exactly. It's not like a heroin thing where you're like, I'm gonna be sick without it. Yeah, your body craves nicotine, but you want... It cra- the yeah, the way, cra- it's, it's, it, it, when you think about, like, addiction and shit, you think, like, you gotta have it, but a craving is literally just like... Come on, man. Like well, that. It's funny. I, I need to have T. I've, I've learned this. I need THC in my system. So I was like, I don't care how it gets in there. I need it in there. What? Oh, yeah. It's like not all not all day, every day. Yeah. I've oscillated between this since I was like 17. I like got THC in my system. I'm like, this is nice. Yeah. And then I would like go off of it for a while. And then as soon as it goes back in. But then I'll, I'll, I'll load myself up. Last week, I had too much in my system. And I feel that. And I'm like, yeah. all right, time to slow down. I give it like dry out for a week. And then I start getting like, I could just go a whole month without smoking weed at all, but I just become so miserable that I'm I'm like, getting there with booze. I got to fucking chill with booze. It's, yeah. It's like. Dry it out. It's getting pretty ridiculous. Well, it's, it's you're hitting the, the the point where there's a lot of people I know who just never turn back and they go, fuck it, dude. I'm well, just... I, I went through phases in my life where I like didn't really drink. Like there were How times. How long? For like pretty much like for years, I would like not really drink. Gotcha. Like I would drink a little, I'd get fucked up, but not like, yeah, th- I would never drink like three days. Like sure. Two d- but now it's like, now it's nothing. Now it's like, if I take two or three days off, I'm like, nice. Damn. Yeah, man. So you're drinking like I did in college. I'm drinking like I did. I in was college. like, I was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like five, again. I was like five, six nights a week in college getting like, and I was getting hammered, dude. Yeah. It's hard not to. With with last night, I didn't drink for like a almost a month before last night, yeah. and even still, I couldn't. Get, I was fucking slamming wine, couldn't get drunk. Ah, oh, that's the worst. Like when you're drinking, you're like, I'm not even getting drunk, and then oh, like, suck. yeah, yeah. Three hours later, you're like, oh, fuck, I'm blacked out. Yeah, four, four hours later, you can't move your face, and you're like, <laughs> your girlfriend's like, are you fucking high? And you're like, barely. Yeah, this is weird for me. Friday night, I got fucked up. Really? Yeah. So I took off Saturday. Gotcha. Obviously, taking off right now. So there's a good two days. How did what, what, Monday? I'm not going to drink. I got to go. What to if you were to not just drink for like a month? It would be difficult. I, it would be difficult. Yeah. I like to drink one or two f- for a show. You think you feel a little sick if you didn't drink for like a month? No. Really? No, it's not like that. I know guys that have the shakes. No, I just didn't drink for 48 hours. I'm say I'm not saying you're an alcoholic. I'm just saying I know dudes. <laughs> I, I've met dudes. So like I was getting hit with a lot of that. Really? Like I'm concerned about you. I'm like, shut up. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you could. I don't. I feel like you could uh, not drink if you didn't want to. Yeah. What's Sh- that look? Shot you double What's eyebrow? that fucking look? Yeah, we'll say. I say this about we'll myself. <laughs> I've been trying to forever only use only use weed or like edibles like once or twice a month. That's it. No, like just yeah. use it like that. Man, is it hard? But I'm getting I'm getting better at it because it devolves into me being like eh, I'll try it. And then I'm like, whoa, this is the best. I forgot why I don't do this all the time. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm like. Kind of trying to like sneakily be high all day and like sitting vape pens. The next thing I know, I'm like not functioning well. And I'm like, all right, back to the ba- back to the basics. But I know that if it's out of my system for a while, I start getting crab. Be I get serious. So it happens to me. I start becoming like kind of serious. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah, I freak yeah. myself out, and I'm just like, not even not even like. I mean, I'm semi serious, but like I'll get like, I can only describe it as like the my mentality when I was 19 when I was real into business. If I get if weed starts like totally leaving my system, you just go full I get, business. I get into that. I get into like Very. a whole different persona, kind of almost. It's real weird. Really? It's scary. Yeah, I can Damn. feel. I feel it coming on. So this is just a weed persona, not and the real you is just a strict businessman. I think so, dude. Wow. But not even though. No, the so real you're like a weed persona. No, it's it's really like it's like a uh, what are those little like film things you look into and flip yeah. it? It's just like a deluded person who thinks what are he's those a business. Called? Uh, gyroscope, some some kind some of scope. it's not a kaleidoscope, but some kind of scope. You go in this, Pictures, you click the thing, and it looks yeah. through a different filter. Yeah. So it's like diluted businessman. I'm like switch, and it's just like whatever I do now. <laughs> Shaman, <Yeah>. philosopher, <laughs> switch. But yeah, the uh, maybe retarded philosopher. <laughs> yeah, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the booze thing though, it's good. Like all these shows coming up. That's yeah. what, and then I'll be in LA for fucking ten days. That hard would be party, party time. It's hard not to party. Yeah, I do some shows. I've got some shows at the store lined up. That'll be fucking sick. Yeah, I just I'm excited about that. That'll be fun. 
Yeah. That is, that will be fun. My thing with it is that like partying per se, like to go out with uh, strangers and like, like I'm gonna get hammered. Which, you go out with oh, a bunch. Yeah, of, yeah. You're out with your friends usually, and you're out. Yeah. And for me to be like, I need to go out this weekend and like hit a club and meet strangers Never. and get drunk. That's Never. where I like don't want to. I legitimately don't want to do that. Never. I was looking forward to going at a wedding. I'm like. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get hammered. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna try to get hammered, even though it didn't work. But yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, I am Alex Jones. You're like I had a fucking I had like six glasses of wine, dude. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Sorry. But the lady at one point, kind of like the bartender, I started. I was like the only one left going like the, doing the old Oregon Trail back and forth to the bar. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. it was like I don't know how many, but like at a certain point, just my last couple glasses of it, the lady was just kind of like she was filling them all the way to the brim. Like, all right, dude, leave me the fuck alone. I kept <laughs> yeah, coming yeah, back yeah. like it's not enough, dude. Yeah, I, I would get two. I would go and get two. I'd be like, can I get two uh, whiskey and gingers? Yeah, that's a smart Just version. keep getting two and going back. <laughs> uh, and then, but then it's another thing. You get older, and it's like, it's really not that cool you're getting hammered. No. When you were younger, it was like, sick, dude. Now it's like, oh, yo, I'm... you're laying in your parents' backyard on a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> then again, it's like, It was fuck? nice. Laying in my parents' backyard was really nice. Or, what's Just your... seeing the stars. I didn't see the fucking stars that's in really nice, so dude. long. I forgot. I was taking in the southern sky. It's crazy. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. I was looking at the southern clouds and shit, and I was like, wow, it looks fucking nice down yeah. there. It was awesome. Alabama's nice. But yeah, the alternative, and this is what I think bums people out who are sober, it's like the alternative of not being high is being sober. And then you're like... At McDonald's with like nine people, you're kind of not friends with because you all got to be sober and you're like drinking coffee. Like, this is fun. This is good. But again, I'm not going to be sober. It all goes out the window. I'm yeah, never going to be sober. Of course not. You don't unless unless this thing does actually get out of hand and I have to, which would yeah. be gay. Uh, I'm not going to be sober. Oh man! But I I'll, hope it doesn't. I don't think it will. It wouldn't. I, I was just, I was I laughing. What I think that everyone would tell what, me. What that would entail. Me being out of yeah, control. I, I laughed. I briefly laughed to myself. I've done it. It's not good. exactly. It's just I've like... done it. I've drank like a case, <laughs> just about a case a day. Yeah. Or every other day, and it just results in me being three hundred fucking twenty pounds and laying around. Pretty, pretty and inside and very sad. Well, you know, you lose. I told you this before. You lose. You don't get REM sleep. So if you're drinking constantly all the time, you're just not. I also sleep. was thinking about that. Like the damage I must have just done to my brain on Friday must be crazy from not sleeping. Also, last week I pissed myself. Happens. <laughs> so I like, told you that was. These more... are two like powerful fucking nights of like. Hard damage to how, my body. How many drinks do you think you would consume in a night? Give in one of these nights. I can't. Hit me with I a have number. No idea. Twenty. Yeah. What? Yeah. Take a fucking break, dude. Probably, yeah. Take a fucking break. Nah, dude. Hey, like six glasses of wine. I was dancing with someone's grandma last nah, night, dude. dude. <laughs> well, I had take a these break. Are hours of drinking. This is from. See, we got to the racetrack at eight. I went to bed at five a.m. Jesus, dude. <laughs> See, I, that's that's what for me. I smoke weed intentionally while I drink. Otherwise, yeah. I do the same thing, and I'll just keep drinking and drinking until I see double. And then, like, I just someone carts me off, or I'm just kind of <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I smoke weed while to I'm knock drinking yourself out because it, it makes me tired. It kind of levels yeah. me, and it's just like I just start. And I'll just like fall into a stupor. I'm like, whoa, dude, God's yeah. a fucking pimp, dude. I don't God, I can't believe God's a pimp. Evil, dude. I don't need any more of this. And I'm like, I gotta dance with her grandma. I'll feel so bad if I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, this is like. Uh... I don't know. Let's see how Phoenix goes. Let's give Phoenix a run. No here. pressure. I mean, you can only quit so many things. That's my dad's famous saying. You have <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. You have to abuse something. Yeah. That's that's his. Oh, that's I'm his gonna credo. definitely drink. But if yeah. I can keep it in not blacked out, that's 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 a win. Fair. I just have a couple beers. We're good. Fair. But Fair. now it's it's getting to the point where I'll go to a show and the you know the bulls will show up. Dogs come <laughs> out. <laughs> do a shot. Let's get crazy. Yeah, man. All right. What? All right. I'll do it. I'll do a shot with you. I'll do a fucking hit. Yeah. You see me, bro. I'm, I'm half Native American. As soon as the fire water hits my lips, dude, I'm fucking gone. You don't handle it that well. As soon as the fire water hits my lips, you dude, handle booze. Gone, dude. Weak. Yeah, it's fine. But you usually have fun. I have a You're usually having fun. It's never, I'm a good it's time, dude. Bad. I'm a good I'm You're an old, a real good time, Charlie. I'm an old good time. When someone puts some fucking liquor in me, I'm fucking cracking yeah, wise. Yeah, you and me have to drink together. I know. We haven't drank. We haven't done anything in a while. We do. We have to fucking we have to lit, raise a goblet, dude. I know. I wish you could have come see that guy get killed with me. Fortunately, I was studying a fucking interracial wedding with heavy Christian dynamics going on. It was, yeah, I could have seen a guy <laughs> die, but instead I got to watch. Seeing a guy like, die is sick. Well, I got to watch all the stuff I'm reading about with like different belief systems kind of moving on one thing. And I was like, dude, this is fuck, yeah. this is shit is crazy. When the crash happened, like it was on the other side of the track, and like everyone ran to it. Of course. And like while everyone was running to it, I was kind of I was like, this is weird. 
we're all running to see it. And then once people started turning around the other way, I was like, ooh, this must be bad. Oh. Yeah. Everyone thought it was just a regular wreck. Yeah, dude. Like running over like, oh, what happened? Whoa. I mean, dude, are they not, are they hoping on some level that doesn't happen? What? Going to the racetrack. You're hoping to see a wreck. You're not hoping to see a guy get fucking splattered by a fucking car. Oh, God. 67-year-old get fucking, oof. I mean, people used to pack in arenas to watch people cut each other's heads off, dude. Sure. I mean, that's we, in there. You don't think we want to see a fucking little splatty splat? I was bragging about it. What? The, I was telling people. I was like, God damn, I saw another guy die. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't see this one. And I didn't even go to the first one. The one that guy died at was, yeah. yeah. I'm, I haven't seen these fatalities. But damn. I'm there. I'm always dude. there, dude. I'm like You're a, like the fucking death, dude in the dude. Bone Thugs video, dude. I am. You should I'm, start wearing a black leather duster and going over there. Just poking dudes on the forehead. Get the fuck, get, get your hands me. off me, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Dude, that's another thing. We got there. I was like, holy shit. Like, every once in a while, like, when I'm doing stand-up, I'm like, I'm not even a fucking hick. This is all a fucking gimmick. I'm a fraud. And then I go home, and I'm like, holy shit, I was not lying. Yeah. Dude, Williams Grove is like... The level of white trash there is insane, dude. I mean, dude, you just told me a guy died in the back of a pickup truck from a dirt car. From a fucking, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think anyone's questioning that, dude. It's like dudes at flannel cutoffs, fucking. It's Larry the Cable guys. Several Larry the Cable guys. Larry the Cable men, dude. Everywhere. <laughs> there's so many of them. Larry the Cable gang, dude. <laughs> dude there's a ton of them. It's, it was crazy. That's what. That's the yeah, man. Imagine. And then they all have that white trash like bone structure and like fate. They're all like ratty looking weirdos. And that's dude. That's the. I was watching a thing the other day. They're talking about the. uh, There's like the left way and the right way, and there's a lot of people who just like where they grow up around. It's almost like instinctual to just like grab onto all of it, be like, yes, this is what we're doing. No one asks any questions. And I'm gonna just wear cut off flannels, and I'm gonna stay here. And you know, it's like yeah. that's one way. And there's a whole other person, whole other type of person who's like, yeah, this is weird. I'm gonna try to do something else. And it's like, dude, if you, if most it, of the time they get bullied out. That true. type of person normally they're ostracized, and then they're like, I'm gonna go be different and move to the city. Yeah, you know. Sometimes they're just like, oh, it's kind of weird. But again, sometimes they're a trailblazer, you never like f- myself, where you're like, you know what, that. this town ain't big enough for me. Nope, I'm gonna go out to the Big Apple. Go to the Big App, baby. I went and took a bite out. <laughs> a big old bite But eventually you settle into something Yeah Hopefully stand up what? Yeah exactly We don't take kindly to you at the racetrack dude. They don't take They did not take kindly to my friends Really? Bison, my friend Bison Showed up in like khaki shorts and a polo And like somebody Boy My friend Boy was wearing fucking boat shoes How dare he dude I was like you guys are gonna get us fucked up in here she, she, yeah, bro. To be continued, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. wrap it it's up. It's like two hours, sixteen minutes. That's long. I'm gonna be gone forever. Yeah, I'll I'll figure something so we'll out. Figure something. I'm gonna out. figure out page content. Figure out some calls. We'll we'll work it out, dude. Yeah, we'll get. We'll Meantime, get some dude, go to your stuff. God damn. What? Nothing. You'll be gone, bro. Sad You're... stuff going on. Really? Yeah. That whole thing, the stand. Oh yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucking crazy. Shitty. Something. Uh, yeah. Horrible. Uh, if you're still listening to this, uh, <laughs> if somehow you're still listening to this, uh, this weekend, the 8th, 9th, and 10th, I'll be in Phoenix. I'll be at the House of Comedy. The Then I'm in L.A. forever. Then uh, Thursday the 22nd, come to the Harrisburg Comedy Zone. There's rumors of Matt McCusker going to be there also. There's rumors circulating. Maybe. Uh, you, it's tough to get a hold of. I won't either confirm the nor deny. 23rd and 24th, D.C. Draft House. 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, Austin, Texas. Let's do it. That's it. Hell yeah, dude. <sighs> bon voyage. Yo, thanks for doing this tonight. This is good. Yeah. We're able to get this out to the peeps. We got to get it to the peeps. This, gonna be, this month is going to be the ultimate test of faith. Yeah, dude. So this is going to be tough for we, these boys. Well, they'll be all right. You should run it. You should do an app, you and Gerbs. While I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get Bert. I'm gonna try to do one with Bert and Butterly. That'd be awesome. Which would be I think that'd be a funny mix. That would be a good mix. Try to get Gerbs. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, dude, the whole squad's here. You hold the ship down. You don't need old chain, dude. The squad's here. Nah, I mean, dude. I mean, perhaps my work here is done. Whoa. Build a Philly Empire and then. Psh, psh. Oh, dude. And it, I mean, dude. this cast was never about orthodoxy, bro. It was never that. This cast can morph wildly. People are like, oh, I love this little thing. It's like, psh, yeah. You never know what's. There next. was an Irish poet who used to do that. He would have a style of poetry and he would just ditch it and then have and just like lose his whole fan base and start up and rise up again and ditch his whole thing. Did it his whole life. It's one of the greats. It's what you do. 
We're just like we're like two young fucking Martin Luthers, bro. We're just driven Martin by the Kangs, dude. Martin Luther, Kang dude. Jr. Fourteen hundred. I'm dude. Kang Jr. No, I'm Martin. I'm old school Martin nah, Luther. Nah, 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 nah. I'm just battling, I'm Kang dude. Jr., I'm just dude. battling my demons, dude. <laughs> That's all I can do. All right, we're out of here. All right. <laughs>